Okay, ready or not, here we are. That's it. Welcome to the stream. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Hey, everybody. Pooch. What's Does going everybody on? Know Pooch? Who's Pooch? I am the Pooch of Repcord, and uh, I am honored to be here in the, like, Palace of Voron. I mean, I got the Dime <laughs> Tour, and it's like a museum of all things uh, Voron. I, we're out in... This isn't the usual digs, though. No, no. So normally, I'm in a very small area, um, not nearly enough room for two people. Yeah. So I prepped a little studio here in my other garage, and here we go. Which, uh, which is an understatement. <laughs> He's done a ton of work out here, and I've gotten the, you know, the updates along the way, and I'm really honored that you were willing to host it because I wouldn't do this otherwise were it not for having somebody like you to inspire me uh, to get my first build under my belt. This and, is awesome. I'm yeah. looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah. Let me do a little bit of checking in check. So I sure. want to welcome everybody. So normally we do kind of a romper room style, at least that's what people say. And yeah. Charlie really wants out. So uh, we Charlie tried. Is not liking having a pooch in his space, it would seem. Are you, are you going to go out? Or are you going to stay? Are you going to be indecisive? Yeah. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Try laying right here. Man. Sorry about that. So the quick housekeeping. So I just want to say hi to everybody. Um, I'm not going to be able to go through the normal thing, but I do want to catch the um, Chris. Thank you for oh, um, awesome. not. Thanks and can join live today. Have fun with the Trident. We will. Um, and then NH3D is a member for 13 months. Party time. Wow. Hello. And yeah. holy moly, that you got quite a community here, man. <laughs> This is great. Yeah, Derek, thank you. And I think we got it. So let me make sure that that is what we're seeing. And so you're the owner of Repcord. Really close by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, we we met almost a year ago now. You came up to the shop. We're up in Auburn, which is like uh, not quite an hour from here. And um, we build uh, something called the rep box. A lot of you have one, have seen it. I know you've, you came up and picked one up personally. Yeah. We got to spend some so, good time. I have a little funny story there. Oh, yeah? So I, you know, I, I like my hobbies. I like, um, it, it it's, has an extra special feeling for me when I see something being done locally. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the, the little, like early on, the little Subaru model um engine printable subaru engine that's yeah. done by someone that's local here and i've always wanted to meet that person oh cool um and also i found out that you were local you owned the company up in up yeah. in auburn and i had a um the ercf the enraged rabbit carrot feeder right going right and i i wanted to figure out some sort of filament management solution for that and i'm gonna just let charlie out i'm just gonna force him out because charlie is not crash. having it today <laughs> too intimidating so, uh, so yeah. I decided I wanted to get a rep box. Yeah. And so, but I knew you were local, so I figured I'm going to go visit. I'm going to see if I can go visit. Yeah. So I, I think I sent a message on the website saying, hey, if I order one of these, can I come and pick it up? Yeah. And at some point I got a response. I said, sure, yeah. And it came from Alan, right? Yeah. Who's Alan? So, <laughs> so I said, awesome. What, so what are the chances that Pooch is going to be there so I can meet him? Hmm. So pretty good, pretty good. That's pretty right. Good. I remember. I remember that now. Yeah, yeah. My my mom's really the only one that calls me Alan anymore. But I think it is the default on mm -hmm. like my account or something on the mm -hmm. on my chat interface yep. or something. That's how. So you I felt it. I felt a little silly there. Nah. Wow. How would you know? How would you know? Exactly. Yeah. But it was fun. Um, James Miller, thank you. We will enjoy oh, the build. Wow, man, generosity. Big thanks. And Big. I don't think I got a chance to thank Mad Shammy for the gifted memberships. Fantastic. Thank you. And Brian T for being a member. And of course, housekeeping, if you guys haven't liked, uh, Steve has done a ton of work out here, guys. Like, I can't begin to tell you how much he built this whole table space. He was just really uh, worried that we weren't going to have good space so yeah. we could see both of us. So I, I'm really excited about this because this is, this is better than any workspace that I've ever had for it. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And we've already kind of cherry picked a couple things so that we were prepped and we have a, yes. we have a plan. We have a plan. Yep. PF Dennis, thanks for gifted memberships. Um, so more housekeeping. So we have a couple of giveaways. So um, Pooch here has been generous enough 
to do two things and I and I and I forgot to do the other thing. So give me give me one moment. Um, let's go. We're gonna go a while, so you've got plenty of moments, my friend. Yes. Repcore.com and we've got a coupon, right? Yeah, Boron Love 10. So Pooch is providing a, anyone can use 10% off coupon. And that is is it, is it case sensitive? Uh, it shouldn't be. So Let's just do all caps like you're yelling at us. That's, okay. We like it that way. If More someone on. tries to use this and it doesn't work, let us know. It should be active. But I've saved that in the description. And that's just a 10% off anything in the store. So if at any point you need to go shopping, there you go. Taylor's here. Nero's Taylor, here. what's up? Mr. Nero himself. How's the drywall coming, buddy? He was, he was doing some joint compound last I saw. Yeah. So he was... He's, he's rocking and rolling, as they say. We got another person that you know in here, Ballistic Tech. All Are right. You roomed in New York? Yeah, at some point? yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about that story. Oh, man. We, uh, that was, I think, oh, he'll correct me if I'm wrong. Sergeant Ballistic. Uh, yeah. Uh, Maker Fair 2018, I think, New York. Uh, we, we, we got, we called it the Maker House. It was like, I think it slept 10 and we jammed like 12 or 14. There and, you go. <laughs> somehow miscounted a number of beds. Somehow I ended up sharing a bed with uh, Uncle Jesse, okay. uh, which was which was fun. And then uh, because he forgot, uh, he brought an air mattress, mm -hmm. and, but then forgot no the way plug. to inflate it. Oh. Right. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, <laughs> he could inflate it, but then there was no way to seal it. So anyway, that's Got that's it. how that's how we ended up uh, being bedfellows. Awesome. Man, what a crowd. You always draw a good crowd for these things. It's awesome. It's unexpected. Such a good community. I'm really, you guys are going to have to take it easy on me. Like, I'm popping my cherry on this whole thing. Working. We've had a lot of awesome sponsors throw stuff our way, so we got to thank oh, yeah. all yeah, of for them. Sure. For sure. So let's let's finish off. So there's a coupon in there to, to repcord.com. Getting ahead um, of More on Love 10. Yep. There's two giveaways. Um, with Repcord has also offered um, gift cards to give away. So these are yeah. gift cards to um, Repcord.com, $10, or $25, $50, and $100. Yep. And we'll do all those in my normal drawing format. Um, so at the three hour mark, you must be present to win, and we'll just go through the will and aim stuff. Um, I, I haven't shown you the will and aims. No, we'll Wheel leave that fish, for surprise. Wheel of names, all right. um, what else? Uh, polymaker filament giveaway. Our normal polymaker filament giveaway will Love happen at the, the same polymaker. time. So sponsors. Sponsors. On? So speaking of uh, sponsors, so first of all, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to all the sponsors that helped make this happen. Uh, LDL Motors provided us this awesome uh, kit. The Triton. We're going to do the Triton 300 today. Yes. In space gray, which I'm just mwah, is beautiful. Yes. It's a great color. It's a it's a great color. You guys have seen it, but man, I just love the way that that anodization uh, here, looks. We can, we can go here. Yeah, and give me a here, give me go a, right here. We're going here, yep. here, here. Yep. Hi, everybody. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's the space gray. And then the filament is just. I mean, I don't know how well this is going to show on camera. And and. First of all, shout out to Steve who did all this printing ahead of time. This is Fatus Glassville ABS. ASA. I'm sorry. This one's ASA. ASA. Mm -hmm. uh, and it just has this pro finish to it, guys. And it's like this stuff just feels like I would not want to be bludgeoned with this. It's got some just good heft and and it it masks the layer lines just perfectly with this that glass fiber yeah um yeah and it's it really gives it a real cool texture it's neat stuff too because the the glass as i understand it the glass coating is actually like a sheath on the outside of the filament so they kind of do a co-extrusion process mm -hmm. so it's not just chopped up and thrown in the resin the way that a lot of uh stuff we would need and and I'm not entirely sure if that yeah, makes it easier to fabricate yeah. <laughs> or what, but I will say the end result is Definitely just well. fantastic. And it printed it's, really well. It's interesting how off on spool, it's super brittle. Is it uh, really? Yeah. You can, you can just that barely that bend. Because of the, and that it, glass. Yeah. 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 But once it's printed, the parts are strong. I've, I've tried, I tried to break. I want to break. Because I, I break printed it. an extra, like, stealth burner wire cover and i tried to break it and it eventually broke and then at the end it broke across layer lines really yeah wow 
So anyway, this is this is fantastic. Other sponsors we got as well. Uh, first of all, shout out CNC Kitchen. Uh, we are proud to be an American distributor for his products now. So uh, these are just going up in the store this week. Actually, I just got them. They uh, provided us their Voron threaded inserts. Now this is like the primo primo, like the high quality. Yeah. This is the good good stuff right here. Got to be um, from stuff on. Oh, the German. You know the Germans don't mess around, right? Uh, so anyway, they've got a specific Voron, Voron specific threaded insert kit uh, that that you have pressed like probably like ninety yeah, percent of them in yeah. already. But we're gonna do a couple just to show you because I wanted to show off this. Uh, this is uh, Naomi Wu's um, uh, heat insert heat press mm -hmm. uh, of her design, and I know you've used uh, Adams, right? He yeah. has a design as well. Yes, and. and I you don't, I used it again last night. Yeah, and yeah. you don't you don't necessarily have to use one of these. Like you can yeah. obviously do it manually. These are pretty small and forgiving. I, I would imagine. Morons manually. But I guess if you're doing a ton <laughs> of these, not a bad thing to have. So I'm um, show that off. I was uh, having some fun testing that out earlier and get some good results with that. So we'll we'll do some of that. Uh, did I cover everybody? Is that all the sponsors? Ooh, I'm not forgetting anyone. I hope I'm not forgetting. Fabrico provided. Oh, oh Hector! Obviously, yep. shout out yep. to Hector at Fabrico who provided the Fetus filament, and probably a couple other upgrades we're going to do on the in the course of this build. Oh, so. are, are they surprised? This I, I'm just yeah. I'm along for the ride. So yep. you know, we we've talked about it, so okay. we'll we'll you're see where to, they, you're going to have to remind yeah. me. <laughs> That's awesome. So okay, so a few more Daniels here, Mudbutt. Yeah. What is up, Daniel? Coral Brain and Zombie Hedgehog. Oh my God! Nathan and Bill Brothers and Tracy Moon. A yeah, lot every, of lot of long. All years. the people. All the people. You know, look at all the love. There's just so much love <laughs> flowing at you. Where are we at here? Okay. So do we want to get started? Yeah. So we are building a LDO Voron Trident kit. Trident. So. Yes, I, let's make sure all my stuff is working. You know, one of the housekeeping things that I didn't do. What's that? I didn't double check that everybody could hear us. I'm assuming they can at this point. It, it would seem like, <laughs> I would think people would be yelling at us. Are the levels good? Got everybody a, good? I've got a completely blown up studio and reassembled over here. And I just assumed it was going to work. And apparently it did. I guess we're not <laughs> clipping. I tend to be loud, guys. So if I need to dial it back or we need to gain it down, you just let me know. Jeff, thank you for the gifted memberships. Um, there's also a lot of questions in here about Charlie. So last stream, I had mentioned that Charlie is having a hard time. He's, um, his litter box habits have been um, poor for a while, and we figured out why. And I mentioned last stream that he has a stone in his bladder that's about the size, the, the vet said it's about the size of a short stack of quarters. Oh my God. Um, US quarters. It, it's large, it's, it's a problem. Um, so here he comes now. However, the good news is that all of his stats, all of his levels, his kidney levels are all stable. Um, so that means that he's still, he eats, he's active. He, he just has a bladder stone, which he's apparently kind of has a thing for those. Um, anyway, because he's doing so well, he is a good candidate for surgery. He's going to have surgery in two weeks. Ah, okay. So that's the status on Charlie. Is he's in? He's um, the the right now. The outlook is looking pretty good. Um, it's simple surgery. He did go through this um, back when I first started the channel. He had uh, he was at the vet for a week over Christmas. A week. Wow. <laughs> with bladder stone removal, and he he got through that okay. So we are going to. Um, to do that in a couple of weeks. So I saw a lot of folks are asking what the what the status on Charlie was. So I wanted to get that Here he comes. get that through. He's exploring. So, yep. Modbot, thank you. Towards the Charlie Fun. I appreciate it. And old crazy eye, thanks for becoming a member. Hopefully Charlie gets comfortable in here because I've got him set up. I got a heated pad for him. And I, I and I do have a Charlie cam. I do have a Charlie cam. It's just not he's not there yet. So I, I've thought of it. So let's get started. Yes. So, LDL tried and build. This is the CNC Kitchen website, but if we go over here, LDO has produced a Trident kit with a few little tweaks. So whenever you're building a kit from any of the of the sources that are putting together kits, you want to check 
um, for documentation that they may be providing. Nero, thanks for becoming a member. And Zombie, thank you. Awesome. Thank you for the banana. <laughs> and Sebastian. Oh, thank you, Sebastian. I appreciate it. Um, so make sure that no matter if it's LDO, if it's whatever brand kit you're looking at, make sure you're checking documentation. Because I think that's probably one of the biggest confusing points um, in, in building one of these. Is a lot of these places are making their little tweaks. Yeah. Um, you were telling me off stream that there's just some little specifics about the yeah. LDO kit that vary from like the original one. Yeah. Yeah. So they so good they, they, they provide a all the wiring and a little tool headboard. So there's some tweaks to the parts and stuff mm. that accommodate that. Nice. A um, couple of little um, printed parts that make the wiring of their things a little easier. So... Um, so Stephen Mercado there is um, curious who's actually doing the building. So for the most part, Pooch is going to do the building. I'm going to assist. I'm going to hand him things. I'm going to give advice. But this is Pooch's trident. This is Pooch's build experience. I'm uh, I'm really lucky to have you know the designer <laughs> with me. Not everybody gets this this kind of luxury. So we get to shortcut a lot of things since he has a lot of it up in here. Yeah. So um, Arthur, thanks for the gifted memberships and. Oscillating Decay, thanks for becoming a member. And if I miss any thanks there, just know you have my thanks. I'll, I'll see it later. <laughs> okay, so we have, so if we go to the Voron section of the LDO site, there's a screen over here. So if you don't see me looking at the monitors or at the camera as much, it's because it's over here. And if we go to the Trident kit, so there is a build notes, and this is probably where we want to go first. Patrick, <laughs> thank you for the furball fund. The furball fund. So um, this is kind of where we talk about what the differences are that LDO is, has, um, has changed. So one of the big ones are these um, T-nut bars. So you don't have to align a bunch of T-nuts in the extrusions. These are super handy. So basically they've provided pre-drilled and tapped so we can just slide them all at once, yep. slide them all at once into the extrusion and we're good to go. But they're talking about some variants on the whole positions, I'm assuming. For yeah, so because five of the linear rails are MGN9, the whole spacing between MGN9 rails and MGN12 are different. Mm. So the, the five that are MGN9, they're showing the difference here if you line them up. They look kind of similar at first glance. But if you hold them next to each other, you can see you can see the, the difference there. Yeah. 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 So that's the first one. And that comes on early because we're going to be assembling the frame today. So, yeah. What, what should we talk about? Like, what's the goal? What do you think is a reasonable goal for today? We're going to do, you know, a good block of hours. Yeah. Get the frame done. With the, we'll, we'll probably the get problem. into the gantry. Good. I think we'll get Let's get into the gantry. And exactly. then we're going to we're going to be right back at it tomorrow, too. So. Yes. Yeah, so we'll the, how far we get. the schedule of this stream is today and tomorrow and then to be determined. So for the next one. Yeah. So we'll figure it out after, probably after tomorrow, we'll figure that out. See how far we get. Perfect. Peter Carr, thanks for becoming a member. So going through early on in the build, we need to pay attention to the frame. So those are the, those are the things. Um, nut orientation. So they, they do a, appear to do a pretty good job of calling out what pages have a difference. So this guide here should be your, your real reference point when you're building an LDO kit. Look for something similar if there's a... Um, this is, uh, there's this is really nice. for a different kit. Good, and they flag it by page number and, and whatnot. So yep. I guess... So if we get into it, we've got the manual here. Okay. So this is the Voron Trident Assembly Manual. Now you can get this, and let me, let me pull this up. Um, on, oops, I got to let my keyboard wake up. I'm going to start oh, and I'm just yeah. going to paste. We're just going to paste this into chat so folks can follow along. The manual is located there and the, um, all the files for the, for the Voron portion of this. So here's the manual. Yep. We're getting the double episode. It's the weekend of tridenting. Yes. <laughs> I'm curious how far we will get, though. I, I, I honestly have no idea. So, Tracy, 
Cell phone pocket check. Oh, that's a good. Oh, I don't even have my cell phone in here. It's right there. Oh, never mind. I've got mine in my pocket. So you don't know the story. What's the pocket check? Uh huh. Oh, did you like bash your phone or no, something? No, no. So Am I not allowed to have a phone in my pocket. So about a year ago. So Jason, thank yeah. you, thank you very much, Jason. Happy Jason! weekend. Happy Voron building. Greetings from LDO Motors. Thanks, Jason. So about a year ago, maybe a little more, I was doing my thing. We were doing a, a, a stream. I don't even remember which build it was. Someone here will remember. Okay. And suddenly someone typed and they're a moderator in my chat. Okay. Yeah. So it's a, a Steve. Oh. It, it, it's, it's kind of funny because I think all the moderators that got promoted were Steve's. Oh, oh it's uh -huh. uh, 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 yeah. So of suddenly Steve's. people were coming up as moderators. Oh, yeah, Stephen Mercado there was a, was a mod. Okay. Um, and, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? I'm panicking. I, I'm trying not to show it. Yeah. But, I mean, people said, they, they could tell I, I was not. I was confused. Uh -huh. I'm suddenly getting people that were promoted to moderator on my channel in the middle of a stream. You know what it was? It's something to do with your phone in your pocket. Exactly. <laughs> my pocket, I touch just right on my leg or whatever in the pocket to click on the email that says, hey, you're live. Okay. Go to that thing in the, in the YouTube app. Yeah. Maybe it was the notification that came up yeah. that says, hey, you're live from the YouTube app. Okay. And then started clicking just the right spots to promote people to moderator while it was in my pocket. Wow. <laughs> so now I get an, often get a reminder. Hey, hey, it's your it's your pocket. That's funny. That's very <laughs> specific. Your phone uh, in your pocket. That, pocket tapping. You've yeah. Been. Hmm. So okay. Look at that, Jason. With the yes, everybody hit that, smash that like button, like and subscribe. <laughs> Good reminder. What are they building, odd? man? Exactly. And then we got KB3D here and Jason saying, oh, Awesome. Telling people to smash the like button. Let's keep our streak alive. So I've got a streak right What's now. What's the streak? That at the, the three hour mark, uh -huh. yes, we're streaking. <laughs> um, at the three hour mark, when by the time I do the giveaway, hmm. um, oh, let's do that. Um, by the time I do a giveaway, I'm at 300 likes. Oh, okay. And I've even hit that when I don't necessarily have 300 people. Oh, nice. I'm close. I'm, I'm often close. But the, the goal is to hit that 300 likes by the giveaway. 300 time. likes by giveaway. I bet yeah. we can do even better than that. I think our record is 420 or oh, something like that. Can we break the record? Can that's, we break the record, that's guys? The question. Everybody call up your friends <laughs> over at the Bangladeshi Click Farm and uh, get all those likes in. Uh, cool. Let's build, man. Yep. They, they yep. So let's grab some frame pieces. Let's go through the manual. Here, let's go through the manual. All right. Figure you... out what pieces we need to grab. Okay. I was just going to start um, with the bottom. Yeah, yeah Dennis, ahead. keep the 300 streak alive. Exactly. So we've got the manual here. It's on. Let me get find my mouse. We're going to scroll through all the all the what general on. info stuff. What tools you use. We're doing blind joints. Have you worked with blind joints before? Um. Yeah. And do you, you see the, you see what it is here. So <laughs> I mean, so I can the, see the illustration. You get the head of a button head within the extrusion to slot. Slot it the, in. Yeah, as the mechanical. Yes, and then you're and then there's yep. a pass through hole. Yep. Yep. Sure. So that's what we're gonna do here, and this is what it's gonna look like when we're done with this section of Let's the instructions. Clean, clean. All right. Piece of cake, right? And we are, we did cheat a little and already we pre did. pre t nutted. Yep. So we, we, we pre-installed the T-nuts in the frame here just to eliminate any additional frustrations or whatever. I would recommend that. Um, I don't think this is a, um, I think this is a, a, a result of um, extrusion tolerances, but especially these T-nut tolerances. Mm. But. Okay, we've got our extrusion sorted. So this is the selection of extrusions we're gonna need, okay. but we've also kind of organized them the way they're going to build. Right. We are going to grab the center rear, it looks like. No problem. The bottom, the bottom rear. On it. Okay. Upside down, try it like Eddie. I have the bottom like rear. Struggling to get comfortable. Well, this is a new spot for him. Yeah. Tuxedo, thanks for gifted memberships. All right, and we're gonna need uh, the screws. So we're gonna need, what are they, M5 by 16? Yep, yep, so We got my box of hardware. And I, I think folks have already noticed the um, custom 
uh, hex trays that I, I decided to print up. So. Yeah, these are a nice Ooh. surprise. Showed up branded and everything. And it looks like the new LDO kits are coming with the nickel plated hardware. Ooh, we fancy. All right. So I don't know. Did you get oh. those the M560? Yep. Perfect. And that's not focusing, but people can get the idea. <laughs> This hey, is a, it's Thank a you. nice, nice looking kit. Everything came nice. I'll just leave that there. So we're gonna need a couple of those. And there's a driver for you. Do you wanna use oh, it? There we go. And I guess for these blind ones. So while you do that, just gonna hand we're gonna it. we're gonna take advantage of some of the efficiencies of having two people here. Yeah. And I'm just gonna kind of sit here and put in five by 16s in the end of extrusions. Sweet. Yeah. So we're gonna need to do that to that for C, A, and H. Yep, these are the top ones I grabbed. So we can grab the, the bottom ones here too. So you want that one, yep. and this one, and that one. Yes, and then yeah. those are the yeah. gantry. Okay. Ooh. This is left. Yeah, and I can, I can right. help figure out where we're... I know, we had them all laid at. out, and then we're yeah. just doing <laughs> our hard work. Recent kids have had them. It's a nice upgrade. Yeah, I like the I like these um, nickel-plated hardware. That's, uh, that's nice, because I'm so used to either seeing, like, that stainless or a black oxide, but they definitely don't have that uh, rough coating... This one goes primo. It's got that primo feel. Is that hex tray organizer remix up on printables? No, but I can put it there if people actually want it. They're really slick, guys. Oops. Really slick. No LTT screwdriver. I own an LTT screwdriver. Um, good question. Where it is? <laughs> I've got one. Nick, Nick over at LTT gave it to me, and it is awesome. Nice. Um, I think that you got the top ones, right? You grabbed Yeah, them. I grabbed the top ones. Okay. I think you're good there. I think we can go on to the next part. Oh, we need the rear vertical. We're crushing it. Rear vertical, okay. The center vertical one. Got it. Yep. And that'll need a single one. That's our the, H? Yeah. Okay. On the and th this will be a case where we'll have to remove one of these T-nuts in order to get that on there. Yes, we will. So the black screws won't rust. Correct. That's the idea, Justin 3D. Um, LDO definitely is, is shipping kits worldwide. And although here in California, the black oxide screws work just fine, as long as they're in a reasonably um, moderate environment, um, not, that's not the case everywhere. So it's either stainless or I don't these, know, maybe that's these not, are a good Not time option. to do that yet. I don't know, I was jumping ahead. Well, let's find out. We might be pretty close. No need to do and undo work. Rum for EST is saying, I don't know who Pooch is. What's his background? What is his background? Who is this? Who is this Pooch guy? I own a company called Repcord. We're based out of Auburn, California. Let it lay, lay down. Okay. Yeah. Let it lay down. Uh, we make fine fabrication furniture is my latest uh, thing. We started with something called the Rep Box, which is just a kit to create a little uh, enclosure for your filament, keep it protected from the elements, dust and whatnot. And it has become something of like a just bling that, you know, we have like lots of light kits and custom versions now, and there's a different Bruce material, and different materials. Uh, and then we've developed other stuff for organizing. You've done uh, our rep rack. So yeah. we're the ones behind the rep rack, which you may see like a lot of people putting uh, like EMT based rack storage for filament up. Um, we have a turntable design that we do. And then we resell a bunch of uh, components for others. We have a decent sized print farm that we use to print mm -hmm. our own stuff, but then we there. also print parts for other companies like 3D Chameleon. Uh, some automotive uh, companies um, utilize our services for that. We don't really advertise print service um, because it's kind of a referral yeah. only and as we have capacity, but uh, it is something we do. 
And we do a ton of laser cutting as well for um, ourselves and others uh, uh, and engraving and stuff like that. So um, I am at R-E-P-K-O-R-D on all the things if you want to go check out our stuff. There's a link in the description. There you go. Yeah. Go to the link. What are we going to do next? We are going to do a couple of things here. We are going to get rid of this pad. Okay. Because we want the nice reference surface here. So I'm just going to slide Indeed. this. After I caught it, I caught I, it with after my I throw that off the Oh, I got, I wore my, I decided to wear my, uh, my handy dandy, uh, 3D printed shoes. Well, carbon 3D printed midsoles. These are the super comfies, yeah. but you obviously thought to put a standing I, pad down. I have a pad down. And I have my super soft Nike shoes. It's like, the it's not your first is, What's that? They don't make them wide. I know. I have wide feet. I do as well. And yeah. I just shoehorned my feet in there. I got, I went, I sized you made up. Made it happen. I did make it happen, and I love these uh, trade shows and stuff. They are absolutely comfortable right. when you're on your feet all day. The, the, is there anywhere to try them on? Uh, Dick's Sporting Goods carries Oh, really? Them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're here on the instructions. Yeah, we're not, not sponsored. Time. Just, oh, just yeah. tag. <laughs> uh, we, okay. we do a lot of talking on stuff. It's fairly casual as far as the... And promotion. I, I, I rabbit hole. Okay. Here, I grabbed a, a rear. Okay. So yep. we're just we're just going so, to town. So we'll just kind of rotate here so we can work off the front corner. That's the front. Okay. Well, that's the rear corner, but we're so we can work off the, the oh, table. I see. Okay. Off the table here. All right. And and do, is our orientation correct here? Because yep. I'm all. I'm so off. here's the orientation that we want to pay attention to. These two nuts here were the front. Okay. This hole here in the in the um, in the vertical extrusion yes. it needs to go uh, in line with the front and rear. Yep. Got it. And then this. So then that one will go on the side, but we can attach one of these first. One, one thing at a time. Exactly. First now my first. thing that I usually do here is when I'm building one myself, this I, is... I do exactly what you're doing. I go by feel and just make sure it's it's flat and we and got a nice great. granite slab here. Sometimes it can help. I'm assuming this is granite. Yeah, it's quartz. Is it quartz? Is it silestone? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I will grab this. Oh, man, we're probably going to be put a little thing here. Squared away, as they that say. That way. That's nice. Okay. And we want to make sure, yep, that's, I'm, I'm that's feeling great. good about that. Flat on the bottom. And then I would I would just kind of hold this in place and give it a, a pretty, a, a few extra get, uggaduggas. Get, get aggressive. Okay. Uggaduggas? Uh-huh. Okay. I yep. want to... There we go. I got I got good torquey wrist strength there. And then okay. we'll do the same thing on this side. I usually clamp that there and sorry. It's like you've done this stuff before. in here. And then you can see I would not have hey, Jared. I would not have thought to do this. Hey, John, can we get a close up shot of those nickel screws at some point in the build? Yeah. Yeah, hey, should we use the Yeah, let's see if we can they're really see if I can just quite nice. All right. And then some Uggadugas. Is that, that's a, an official torque uh, spec? Yeah, yeah, on, on this channel anyway. No, no foot pounds. Hey, there's meters. a pretty good shot. That works well. Look at Yes. Uh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, daddy like. Okay. Oh. All right. All right. Uh, can I? Am I pretty? pretty I'm good undefeated. Shot, I think. I'm gonna retire now while I'm still ahead. <laughs> okay, so that was the back corner. Uh, next yep, page. But we, but we, we got it backwards. We got. We have a problem. Why? Oh, it was supposed to go that way. Wasn't no, it? no. It's the other problem. We got this one's upside down. This one's upside down. Mm -hmm. Those are the bottom. Oh, okay. the bottom T nuts. Well, that's easily. <laughs> that's easily fixed. Yeah, we it is. Do, we just do that. Yep. And then. Um. Something else is wrong here. Something else is something wrong. Something else is wrong. Is this not the actual? This is the one. That, want. This is the back. This is the one we want. This is the front. And we're gonna go right like that. See, if we didn't have you, I know I moved it around and I. It's, yeah. Because we translated <laughs> our orientation. No, that's not gonna work. Because then I can't. Right there, we go here. Yep. I don't usually worry about making sure that this is square. Um. Uh, so I only that, use this that, as a that, reference point, okay. so we can. We get it yep, most yep. of the way, and then we'll. Yep. Love these little clamps. Let's see what we got here. 
Shouldn't one of the extrusions be the back extrusion with the upright? Yep, we're, we're getting there. We, we, we got it. It's all my fault. Ugga dugga. Yep. That's probably about three Ugga duggas. That was, you think that was the three? That yeah. was the three Ugga dugga? Yeah. yeah that's okay, fine. so now this is correct. This is the rear. The rear this is the stay. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm with you now. So we've gone like this. All right. Now we get back. What's next? So we got we have we have this. If you if you rotate that, then you can see that that's what we have here with the note the the, the, the back hole, hole here is right there. That's our back hole. Yep. Perfect. So build on a flat surface. Now we're yeah. gonna put that that H extrusion. Yes. In place. Okay. Now we've done. So those go to the side. Let's go yep. to the sides and then the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so I now need to what get under I would do is take this whole thing mm -hmm. and turn it this way rotate it where it's flat i'm surfing what you're waving yep and there then we'll get it somewhat close now you still have clamps left after the overhead setup so did you people, guys see this setup i think i can show it we can we can get some some view of this. I, I, I brought out all of my um, redneck engineering skills. It's cracking up when you sent me a text to this photo yesterday. If we come up here, this is this is the overhead camera setup. So my extrusion. My, yep, there's an extrusion there going back clamp to there. clamp to the shelf with a light. Yeah. And then up here, you might not be able to see, but I had to I use the attic access Right with a there. two by four clamped up there yeah. as my um, brace. <laughs> just, just some extrusions and some clamps and you got everything you need, right? Mm -hmm. It works. A thing of beauty. Yeah, you can't, uh-oh. Okay. This, fella, oh, this is the one that went That's in That's the one that goes there. Okay. But did you tighten that one? I did. And I uggy dug it. it. Did you measure it? Did I measure how many uggy duggas? No. Uh, I no. grunted one time. <laughs> um, the, it has to be exactly centered. It, it is exactly. Is it? Let's see how close you are. That's why I brought this up. Okay. Let's slip this. Probably not exactly. Well, whatever. All right. So according to the instructions, on a 250 frame, yeah. we want 175 millimeters between extrusions. On this, we want 200. 200. Dead nuts. The 200 Boom. or the 199? It's 200. I mean, you here. You double check me. I'm gonna I'm double check you. I'm gonna because it's important. It's, it's, is it dead on? Yeah. Look at look at it. We get the camera in there so we get some more witnesses. It's dead on. First try. Yes. Good job. That is, that is actually dead on. I'm I'm quite surprised. Well, I can eyeball within a <laughs> within a millimeter. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, and we got our T nut back in there. Let's carry on yep. my wayward son. So now we're going to just build the rest of the, the bottom frame and the verticals. So we can just work our way around, making sure we pay attention, which I got my verts. Now, you did put a T-nut in one of these verts already. Uh-huh. But I, I don't I, I put it in the one that should have gone here. Which? OK, well, that's easily <laughs> that's easily fixed. So we're going to move this over here. OK. How's everybody in the chat doing so far? Are we are we? Just crushing expectations. <laughs> Who's expectations? I mean, I don't think anybody had a lot of I, high hopes for me on this. I thing. think about 80% of my audience is just happy I have a Charlie Cam in this garage. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have a Charlie Cam. Okay, so I'm not gonna snug it all the way. We're gonna use your little. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna manually you can. hold that. That's fine. Because I've got some pretty to, good. To be honest, course. you get it. You, you, it's easy to feel. If things are um, are flush, you can feel this side. Well, you especially can feel when, you that got this, when you got this nice flat. Yeah, man. I got. I mean, you've inspired me to up up my setup game now. See, I noticed that I was <laughs> as I was torquing it. I don't. You want to make sure it doesn't twist. twist. It might be if we can give ourselves all the room here, all the room. That way, we can just rotate this all the way around and just make sure. And okay, now I've lost reference to which. Mm -hmm. I can help. Sides is so which one is that? Which, that's that's six. So these go to the front. Okay, all the M3s on the we did are on the bottom. Yep. Like that. Get this out of your way. So you can rotate this around probably and get a better angle off the edge of the 
If you rotate this like this, go that way. Okay. Then the handle of your screwdriver. I see. I see. Doesn't get in in the way. Is it going to say anything that this is the Charlie Channel? Oh, I know it. I, I I understand my place in this in this world. We're lucky that Charlie allows us to build 3D printers on his channel. Then yes. So true. Okay. <laughs> All right. We finally got a Saturday notification, Danny. Well, at least it got there. We're only 42 minutes in. I think I'm at a four ugga dug at that one. That's okay. Extra ugga dugga isn't going to hurt it. It's tear it through the extrusion. Um, we, well, we, we made sure that these are correct. Did yep. you pay attention? I did. I did. I'm awesome. I was, I was looking for that. Okay. All right. Now we're just going to keep going on the verticals. Yep. I, I really appreciate this coaching. It's, uh, it's something. You guys, if you haven't had a chance to have a, a build coach, I highly recommend it. Okay, that one's... And then, then the right, weight coach. doesn't fall off the end. I don't want it. Yeah. Just careful not to pinch your finger. Charlie, then Pooch, then Steve. I see. What? It's always the guest first, so... <laughs> am, I, am I the first guest you've ever had on stream? Live. Oh, live. Okay. Okay. Now, I have had um, guests. Well, I'm on. honored. Um, what do we have? This, oh, this is the other one. This, so, this is going to be the front. front. front yes. Yep. And everything's looking. Everything's looking good. Still undefeated. Okay. I have had some online guests. I've had, um, what was the order? I had Eddie. No, I had um, Eddie the engineer. Eddie the engineer. He was on when I did the Bright X build. Shout out Eddie the Engineer. Mm -hmm. And Nomad from the Positron team. Uh, Very cool. Was on. And then I had Kyle, Hart K. Okay. And Dutch Dude. Dutch for Dude. The Mercury One build. Oh, I had RCF on. You're right. That was the first. That was the first one. I knew I was missing. When I did the Voron kit. We gotta give Max show up in person. Mm -hmm. he's, he's close ish. He's he's Bay Area. Santa Cruz actually. Yep. I, I he works in the Bay Area. I, I might get a pay cut for forgetting to mention Max. Uh, but the 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 godfather. I can afford a hundred percent of zero. So. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Yeah, have you seen my, um, when I go away from the camera for a moment, I have a, um, a, a animation that comes up on the screen. Have you seen it? No. Yeah. Well, it's it's like the... Us. Oh, How does one get to be an animation? I like that. <laughs> You're just making, is that a GIF or is it an actual video? Uh, it's uh, it's from it, yeah. it's from my the stream that he was a guest on. Oh. So I'm using my own content as now um, DJ Natty and one of my viewers is the one that captured it for me and and sent it over. Love it. But, yeah, speaking of zero G, Dutch dude is here. Hey, Dutch dude. All right. I need more Charlie gifts. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna take a. I, I'm, gonna, I'm on a yeah, ten. Yeah. I'm gonna take a tenner. The um, I was on Nero's stream. Someone asked if it was Nero on mine or me on Nero. I, I was a guest on Nero's stream. That was nice. Which for, was a blast for him and his beard to let you have some space on the, on the. I don't know train. that he had much of. Oh, was, was he not earning it? It yeah. was early before he yeah. decided. You maybe. And I didn't either. You I didn't either. Oh, you guys inspired I did, each other. I just started growing this back. No, I had it. Jealous, I had yeah. it really long, um, a few years ago. And then I trimmed it down to just a stub uh, for a long time. Uh, next page, please. Let's see. Let me switch over here. Swipe. Swipe. Where's Where's the mouse? Where is the mouse? There it is. There we go. Page down. <laughs> the monitors are in very different spots. I don't know if anybody caught anything on the other the, views. The, uh, the, but... e, the E extrusion. The yep. E. So the E extrusion e. is going to be one of the X. The shorty? It's going to be the, over here, it's going to be this guy, I believe. So this extrusion, we know the one we need. 
because oops, let's go here. It's going to be the same height as this. Ah, yes. So and all we're using this one for, and we're going to do something else here. Let's go here. Um, all we're using this for is a spacer right now. Spacers! Exactly. Quote Ivan. So to help for a couple of things, to help with um, not scratching stuff up and to give us a little bit of extra um, wiggle room, we're going to put a couple of pieces of tape on the ends of the These are the extrusion. pro tips, everybody. I hope you're paying attention. Get your tape. Blue Let's painter's sure tape. That's flat. Okay. Now, there are also printed spacers you could use for this. Mm -hmm. um, it's not this long. It's to go. So this goes to set the spacing here to here. Yep. No, that the other one sense. would set the spacing here. The printed right. So spacer. then that way we know we are dead nuts in the center of that hole. Yep. So I think this is actually going to be And then we'll move it over here, here and do the same thing. And then we'll do it over here. So these are going to go between the... Um, for the Y. The, the so spanner. going to yep. go on the side. This yep. is for our Y gantry. Yep. And we got them um, uh, here, I believe. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to do something a little different here. Something that's not in the manual that I think is a good um, thing for these extrusions. Because it's really critical that they be not twist. Not twist. Um, and that they're exactly um, perpendicular to your verticals. Right. So, we're going to move the frame around and lay it on its side. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to take one of these two and we're actually going to grab these washers. But okay. I'm not going to use those washers because those are those are the LDO washers and they're kind of slim. Okay. Um, I'm going to go grab uh, out of my stash a couple of different washers. Secret washer stash. Yes. Okay. Yes. And, and then you actually, uh -huh. you're spacing that out a little more. I'm going to show you. All right. So you keep these folks entertained and I'll be back. Here we go. Someone can a little soft shoe. get a new, <laughs> get a new animation. Oh. Uh, okay. Go get the, oh, all right. I got to tell you guys, uh, the the packaging, the way this kit has all been put together, super impressive. Um, you know, we do product and stuff ourselves and whatnot. And it, gives, it inspires me to do a better job of, of packaging. Um, we are lucky to have LDO as a partner that helps us with uh, some of our kits that we do for the CR30 and stuff. And they do just a fantastic job of making sure everything is labeled and kitted and weighed out the way that it needs to be. So... So that's good stuff. Maybe while he's uh, gone. Oh, that was fast. He knew exactly where his. See, it would have taken me like two hours to dig up where my watchers were. You knew exactly I'm, where they were. I'm reasonably, reasonably chaotically organized. organized. Oh, it's, it's something. That's why we're here and not at my place. <laughs> so what I want to do is on the, on the bolts that go, the blind joint bolts that go into the end here. Yes. I want to put a washer under it. Under, under there's the, enough space okay in these extrusions yeah for the head of the bolt at least there should be yep there's enough space for both oh. now what that's going to do is give a more consistent surface for the bolt head to rotate on okay. which means it's going to be less likely to twist when you're tightening it oh now That's you a, could do that on all of them, okay. And I've done it, yeah. But the most important ones. But these are, are mission these, critical because these the, are mission critical. The Y gantry and the rails sit mm -hmm. on this piece, right? Oh uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, see, is you know this so obsessively <laughs> organized. I, I, we all need a Steve in our lives, or to aspire to be a Steve. Now, something else we want to do before we put this end on yeah. is we have a couple of these guys to put in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So these are the, the uh, T-nut bars. And I want to make sure we got, that's the, that's the wrong one. So not that one. Not that one. We're going to set that one aside. It's going to be these. So we also need to pre-install the T-nuts on these, which we didn't do. No, we did. We need to grab the ones that are over here. That's why. We just didn't grab we the right did that. ones. I just grabbed the wrong ones. 
That's why. Okay, those, okay. Were, the, those were the tops. Those were the tops. Yeah, okay. Yep. All right. So these we already pre-installed. So the, we just need to put here. the... Uh, where's the other one of those still over here? Do you want out, Charlie? You have everything you need here. In you again, have litter in, box, in, in again. you have heated. Maybe, what if I warm this up? It's just not the, it's just not its usual spot. That's so hot. Oh wait, good. what'd you do with your washer slash here? Yeah. These guys? Yep. Okay. It's a good little pro tip. So they don't actually include. Do that again or, so we can see. What, are, what am I doing again? We, we're gonna, we're putting a washer on the NVM 516, mm -hmm. and we're just threading it into the ends, right? Yep. Now, yeah, five seconds later, let me back in. Yep, that's Charlie's game. Okay, so these Play two are done. Rogue. There is a difference between these two. Okay. Oops, sorry. There's a difference between these two, and it's one T nut here is an M3, and that one it's goes on the up. right side. Okay. So that goes on this top side. So we're going to grab this one is what we're working on right this now. This is the right side. Yep. Okay. <laughs> we, miss a, we need a T-nut there. We have a T-nut. Oh, it's two, two T-nuts. Yep. And a microphone. <laughs> Perfect. Two T-nuts and a microphone. Where it's at. That's a tip helpful for V0s as well. Um, ballistic Tech, what I've done on T0s, it is helpful. The M3s are a little smaller and less consistent. Um, M3 washers. I'm take this off. <laughs> My extreme version of that ballistic is I took some square nuts and drilled out the centers to make fairly beefy washers doing this. I did that on my original V0. Ah. That's a little extreme. That's a bit extreme. Yeah. Okay, so I've got two now. So this is why it's super handy having, because how much time would I be spending undoing the whole thing to yeah. put them back in again yeah. if I didn't have somebody that actually knows what yeah, it's Unfortunately, I hear, I, I hear that Chris Riley did that. He had done... Uh, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of rework. Yeah. Potentially. Yeah. I, I guess it's not that bad. I don't know. You know, nobody got time for that. Okay. All right, so this is going to go in there here, mm -hmm. and, and that this is going to go down. Down, 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 down. So now the, okay, the this only is where trick we here, line yep, these up. and having some tweezers or something to make sure that washer Got gets it. into the right spot. And you might have to adjust how much it is finicky to do this, but I think it's a good idea. I'm getting down. I'm getting in it. There you go. I'm right At least here. you have a padded uh, mat to save your knees and i've had a knees <laughs> extra cartilage i was born with so just adding a washer cartilage. to the end of the extrusion for the ones in the middle yep that's what i'm doing danny critical that's wow that is such a perfect fit like that yeah so now that can go all the way down and we can take our on nice. extrusion we got i'm stuck i'm binding i'm binding you're binding Somewhere, I just bounce. Yeah, and what happens is that the... Um, wow, that just grabbed onto some. Yeah, I, what the heck happened there, man? That's a good question. Is there some booger inside the extrusion? Yeah, that's not happened. You're going to have to give it a nugga dugga. Give it about 10 nugga duggas. Let's see what's going on. What happened? I don't know. I think we're going to have to get Western with it, though. Hold on. Mm. It should not be that no. bound, right? No, it shouldn't. I got a rubber mallet. Yeah, I was going to say, where is the rubber mallet? For that? Hmm. That's, it does not want to let go. Why did that? What did it catch? I don't know. What did you do? <laughs> what did I do? Well, you just I mean, it. I guess we could always take that bottom one off so that it's taking the strain off of it, but that's really strange Never. how it just grabbed on like that. Yeah, it's really grabbed. Okay.
I, I really that's so that's so wild. There's something in the channel it must abound on. You know what? I'm gonna I'd say if we back out. Oh my god. It's definitely some we're gonna pull it out this way. We need to get it off. Okay. Or or Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we gotta either go forward now, or back. Hold on, hold on. I can do over here again. No, we'll Yeah, bring it in a touch. Yep. Now that one needs to go. There we are. Wow. I mean, I guess that's a testament to the awareness. It just doesn't <laughs> doesn't take a lot to. Uh, yeah, I've not I've not had that bind up like that. Wow. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right there. And yeah, we'll have to fix that. Okay. And then get that lined up. With it's that it's, hole. Yep. Loosely. Just gonna bring it in here so it can't. It didn't tighten up. There was a probably a sixteenth inch gap. I can see like a, a scarring inside the uh, yeah, aluminum we, there. Well, I think that's from your malleting. Yeah. I'm sure that was you wonderful for people's ears too. Wounded the inside of my extrusion. What? What? Okay. All right. Now we've got our uh, our spacer. Our precision spacers. So now I'm gonna loosen this up so it'll move. Okay. So that should go there. What about the thickness of the tape? So that's the, we want a little bit of extra. We do want that's some probably extra. We're extra. We're a little because extra. this piece that goes here yeah. is adjustable. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, that explains because that this we end up using the the, the little printed the L bracket mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So now right. that one can go and tighten down. Okay. And you want to give it just a little bit of pressure that way. Yep. Right. Okay. This is all flush over here still, so we're good there. Okay, well, I'm gonna nudge it this way so I can hit yep. my. Ugga dugga. But nut bars in the V. Yes, you're you're absolutely right. So Troy has has correct oh, has caught an error that I've made. Oh. Because I'm I'm good at making these errors and and forgetting about them. Nut bars in the Z. Yep. Yep. We need nut bars in the Z. So one of these is gonna go right there. Well, we we have okay. And, and then and the problem is we can't put this one here because, because we put that in. Uh -huh. So what's the orientation? Doesn't matter there. It's, uh, is it mirrored? Yep. Okay. All right. So we, at least we got this one. Yep. That well, one's we're just going to go have there. one Z. Now, <laughs> what I'm thinking we might want to do, because we had such trouble moving this, let's put it in from the other you side. You want to go in from the other? Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll re-evaluate we'll re all the frame stuff and make sure it's square. Play your game. But, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. No, I can't do that because it's blind. Yeah. So we gotta. Uh, we gotta get both of those off. There we yeah. go. Then Easy. we can put that one out through there. And in you go. Get <laughs> that on there. And then, do you want the little reference point? You got it over there. Yeah, we'll re we'll re-reference it. This is definitely not something you want to hustle through, right? This is like uh, the the uh, the square. It's got to be. Yeah, spending time here will save lots of troubleshooting later. Now this is. What's going on? The, there was a little rotation in that, and it stopped ah. me to twist when I, yeah, I can hold this my down. Touch more. Yep. Hold things flat and square. Okay. And then yeah. we'll double check that guy. And move it all the way this way. That, that's another interesting benefit of having this here was if there's a slight rotation in this piece when you squeeze this, I could tell it was like lifting. Yeah. So now that's flat. Let's see here. Thank you, Troy. I appreciate you catching that. Good looking out, Troy. Noise canceling worked great on the hammering. Good. Left-handed ugadoga on that. Left-handed. Does that? Is, what's the? What's the factor you have to apply? Uh, it's a left like, versus right. Probably like a, like a fifteen percent to twenty percent less on the right. 
Let's see here. Let me just double check. Everything is everything feeling square. Feeling square. Looking square. I don't feel tardy. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got our Z's. So now we're. I'm now gonna we go a, through here and oh yeah, we have double check. Is this this height here? This being the same is critical. Okay. So, so I'm gonna kind of feel? feel here. And then they sloppy in there. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put it over here. This side is tighter. Too tight. So no, it's probably good. So let's make this, this one thing. a little little tighter. Yeah. Okay. So and we'll do it here. Do it up there. Okay. Yep. Hold on. So this has got to get in. Yep. yep. And that's super tight. But how about how about we I, stand I, it yep. up so we can have gravity work with us? No. No, because then we're not going to stay square. Yeah, okay. I'll hold it. You tighten. Yep. And approved. Yep. About the same effort to get them in. Yep. Approved. 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 Mm. That side is done. Here we go. And we have our here to here. Up there. That guy. This guy. So what I'm going to do is make sure that we're a little closer to where we need to be. Yeah. yeah. Start and caught. And maybe we can, maybe we can just both move it, just to make sure it goes the same. Teamwork. Okay. So this is going to go on the bottom. Yep. And we're going to check. And I've got the. Oh, you got. The guest tweezers are over here. <laughs> there you go. You got them. Are we good? Yeah. And that's okay. Okay. Let's see the yeah. this. I think this needs to go in just a hair. Is it in or out? In. Out. Oh, out. Okay. Right, in try to get this. Out. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm just gonna Perfect. There. This right here. M3 on the right end. Yep, we did double check that, Patrick. Left handed Ugga Duggas are actually Dugga Uggas. Okay. Dugga Uggas. I there like we go. That. I like that. Whose comment was that? Props. <laughs> that was Ancient a Agent Hubcap. Good job, Hubcap. It's the, that's the kind of comedy we're here for. You can ugga dugga that. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know how many ugga duggas. Steve ugga duggas to pooch ugga duggas. Are they compatible? They're equivalent. Transferable, sure. equivalent ugga duggas. Uh, and then this one could be just slightly tighter. All right. You got it, boss. I can hold it. You're going to hold want. it? Yep. Okay, you're holding it. I hold the other one. Well, you hold the other one. Here we go. We're in. How's that feel? Yep. Approved. We are good. It's got the Steve stamp of approval. Okay, uh, we okay. Are, we're getting there. Let's go through and make sure we didn't forget anything. Doesn't... Yep. Let's, no, let's, we're not let's square. Double, let's double check all of our corners here. So we got a little little wonk. I think, oh, I think we should go through and redo a little wonky now. many of these. Okay. I wonder if we'll be. Uh, yeah, we got something. So let's something let's got just, caddy wampus on. Yep. This. So let's just loosen all of them. Boy, this block is super handy. Yeah. And it's we'll already better, right? Tighten, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Well, when it loosens up, we just want to yeah. make sure we... Yep, this one was loose. Oh, well, that'll do it. Let's just use our, use our clamp. It's sticky there. But and then we'll go here, and I'll let you... I'll hold this, and you tighten, I think. Okay. Check. I think that one got loosened. Was I loosened perfect? all of them. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna feel, and then we'll just work our, work our way around. I think. Yep. Mm. 
twisted. Oh, that one. So this twisted when you did that. So okay. loosen it a little more and I'll, I'll get a better, better hand on it. Now I'll try it. It's actually really nice to have another set of hands for that. Oh, yeah. So you gotta go this guy. If you hold this and I'll tighten yep. on this, this side. There you go. Oh, good deck. Feel these. Feel good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's keep working our way around. Mm, I felt that twist. Yep. There we go. You get that. I'll get Trade this. These. Okay. Man, I would have never thought to do like half of this stuff. I would have just YOLO, <laughs> YOLO, and this, and I'd be like, why is it printing so terribly? Because you didn't square it, dummy. Oops. That's why. Hold on. Yep. You're good. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm not. Something, no, we're way off here. Now, how are we feeling? Like, infinitely better. Oh, yeah. It's laying flat on the table. That's <laughs> amazing. Flat. Gotta get flat. Okay. What's hey, next? Wayne, welcome. Okay, let's find out. It's starting to look like something. That. Now we do the top. Oh, that's the Y extrusion. We did that. Yeah. And we use this extrusion as the spacer. Did that. We rinsed and repeated twice. Yeah. So clean. <laughs> so fresh and so clean. So now we hey, can extrusion so the little top, top yep. hat. Yep, we got these. Not got this problem. one. This and then probably we'll have our... one more over there, probably. Yep. Uno mas. Uh, and then this was the top of our T, I think, but not for right now. Correct. Not yet. This is going to be this back one here. Let's throw it over here. So, yeah, so the back one had some uh, yep, T-nuts we already those. put in on the rear. So we can so we'll start with that. And this here. And those T-nuts go to the back. And those go like that. But we don't have... So we got to throw in some... There you go. And I'll pay attention to chat. Who's building along at home? Dropping a precision square on a concrete floor. These, I, I wouldn't call it precision. It also, it hit the mat. It did. It, it, there, we are standing on a rubber mat. Another another advantage of An having a rubber mat. anti-fatigue mat. Yeah. These things great. are pretty beefy. I don't think dropping that's gonna make a difference. Yeah. And really what we're using this for is the flat edge. We're not using it as a square. I just heard 100 machinists cringe all yes. at the same time. <laughs> Hey, Dr. Ronnie. Uh, oh, boy. Want to get that precision square? <laughs> yes, you want to hold that. I'll get this. So one, one thing, kind of a feel thing. Yeah. When you're tightening down the first one, you always, when you start tightening it down, you always feel the extrusion shift into place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always loosen it again. And then retighten it. Huh. Because otherwise you could be catching it off, right? Huh. Yeah, I guess you could. Once you start tightening it, it kind of shifts. And then I loosen to make sure it's tightening down in the... Okay, I'm going to feel for that. You won't feel it here because it's already you're actually clamping it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But that first one, it often shifts into place. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, there you go. Okay. And just work our way around. Potato, potato. And these ones don't have anything in them, so. That's easy. Nice and. I heard it clang on the floor, that's why. I... Yeah, I hit the rubber mat first and then hit the. It bounced hit the floor. off the rubber mat and then gently tinkled to the floor, which has a really thick epoxy coating on it as well. It's yeah, nice. Let's give a, it's a nice garage. Let's give a visual, just because people like visuals. 
And, and, and we get a view of the, the, the Adidas, the shoe. Oh, uh, bang, <laughs> dink, dink, dink. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and you didn't get to show off your shoes before. I didn't, well. Yeah, so there now, go. there we go. There you go, 3D printed <laughs> uh, insole, or not insole, uh, um, midsole. Sole, sole and midsole. No, the sole is the bottom. I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not a cobbler. Hey, Stephen Fool, and welcome, Micah. I'm glad you can make it. Okay, camera. What camera? Which camera? That's kind of a trip watching from the top, like. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna hypnotize you. Okay, you do this one. Teamwork. Teamwork. Okay. Everybody, everywhere. Uh, this way a little more. This is going to be the squarest, truest frame ever. We're going to achieve, lot. it's like perfect level, but perfect square. We're going <laughs> to achieve perfect square. No. Uh, everything is strange and unfamiliar. John, you know John Stern? Yeah. You remember John? Yeah. yeah. Met him at um, yeah. met him in person at Orange County Maker Fair um, last year. He's the John Stern I'm thinking about. Worked for GoPro. He worked for GoPro. Yeah. I don't know if I, I knew where he first, worked. He's saying he had some of the first Adidas 3D okay. printed insole shoes. Maybe I'm thinking of John Mine Strand. Strand. I might be thinking of John Strand. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ask John Stern if we've met. I don't know. So this is Avatar. Has he got a hat on? He's got a hat. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. Chat delay, you had the PDF still on? Oh, chat delay, I see. You got that? Yeah, I got this. Did you feel the shift when you tighten it down? I didn't. It was but already I'll, pretty straight. I'll back it out again. Already pretty I'm, straight. But. Makes you feel, I've got to do it to the master's standards. You got to realize yeah. I, uh, we need some chalk. <laughs> Climber's chalk or gymnast chalk. You got that chalk? Straight enough there. Chalk? Chalk. Words are funny. There we go. One more. I dig. This one we thought I had mixed up before so as a washer. So oh. I'll take this washer off. I haven't met Pooch. Auburn is too far from civilization for me. Where is civilization? He's in the Bay Area. Oh, he's in the Bay Area? Yeah. <laughs> I grew up in the Bay Area. I grew up in Cupertino. Pez Liz is here. Hi, Pez Liz. Liz! Liz, are you eating lunch? It's about Liz's... No, it's after lunch time for Liz. She usually likes to eat lunch when she's on stream, when uh, she joins us on Fridays. Mm. That's how she remembers to eat lunch, she tells me. I am always on at work when you... It's a weird time. Do your thing. I you know, people People work. Here, here, I want to do something. Go ahead and tighten that one down. You can you can feel it. Okay. So, we'll do, like, without, like... Yeah, just do the... Okay, just so do the tighten... See that? Okay, so see do how that. It shifted? And then I back it up. Yeah. And then... then tighten it in. I was, blind. I was blind, but now I see. <laughs> Auburn is so great. Spent a lot of time up there. Sativa. Yeah, it's a good spot. Auburn is a great place to go mountain biking. There's some, yeah, mountain biking, hiking. Uh, oh, we got it all, man. Um, it's really grown on me. I moved there about, let's see, it was 2016. What year is it? So was, was that nine years ago? Seven. Seven years ago? Math. Math is hard. Uh, seven years ago, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, from the Bay Area, I was in the East Bay before that in Danville. Shout out Danville. And I grew up in the South Bay in Cupertino. Okay. Home that is the Apple headquarters. It's just the frame. That's it. We got a frame. We're done. Will oh, it print? Just a little bit, but it's, I'm not worried about how it. How did? How did that happen? It just happens. It's okay. But it was totally flat before. It what was, did, we, what did you, you got, do? You got four new. Extrusions. Hmm. I mean, that's a... feel all of these? It's nothing. It's less than half a millimeter. I mean, it's less than... What's your feeler gauge? It's less than that. It's a point fraction of a millimeter. Hmm. This is a 300 Trident. It'll be fine. 
Um, I can climb into it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, are we doing this guy? Brain into a dot. Well, let's see what we're doing. Little, next. Little, we did all this. We can, you can, you can, this is a little, this by, by experience is a pretty accurate square. You can, <laughs> yeah, throw it on the ground. <laughs> throw it on the ground. See how, th see, see how things feel. Wow. Where? That's pretty square. Uh, it's a little, no, no, I was just. I wasn't even holding hold it right. It I was not even holding it right. So that was a problem exists between user and square. It's always hard for me to decide when a bit of wiggling is okay. Just a tiny, tiny bit. You're not. If, if you're striving for absolutely perfect, um, you'll never achieve it. Yeah. You'll drive yourself insane. It's, it's maybe a tiny, tiny wobbly. It's also hard to tell if you're perfectly square there too. And the angle I you're am, getting at. I am perfectly square. I am the squarest <laughs> of all the square. Square daddy -o. He is square. That's pretty cool. All right. I like it. That's We're going to set the frame square. aside for a second. Okay. So let's just set it on the on the Shapeoko back there. Frame Make away. sure you set it down hard so it goes out of square. Quack! <laughs> all right. What's next? We are on A, a drives and idlers. Some poochie power you need, pills. You need some, some energy. I, uh, I apologize for eating on stream. I know it's not classy, but I got to maintain my caloric intake. Okay, so mm -hmm. we are going to grab a bunch of parts. So we're going to put mm -hmm. this back on here. Those are yummy. We're going to start grabbing. I'm grabbing Rock. bits and pieces. Raw caffeine. All right, what do we got? No, not that one. Let's see, these need inserts? Oh no. No, these are good. Um, there is one that needs an insert. Um, so I can do inserts, I like doing inserts. You have a few parts over there. I do. That we're gonna use in this in this step. Okay. So that's one of them. This one here? Yep. Where's the insert go? And this one, the insert goes right there. Hmm. Right so, here? So let's get, let's get set up. So, you we're gonna check out the Naomi Wu Pizza Press. Oh yeah, right. Not sponsored, by the way. I bought I bought this on okay. my own. Okay. Um, so so this is something that Pooch has purchased and wanted to check out um, as part of this build. So we're going to talk about it. Yeah. Because there is absolutely no reason that because why not has to be sponsored. No. In fact, sometimes you get a more true yeah. impression of things because you're not going to think you're not going to call this a shill. You're not trying to shill anything. But we're going to check it out because we just checked out the um, Vector 3D VLMP. You got be careful when you're eating. Like, I almost wanted to like, eat a threaded insert. <laughs> okay. At least it's not a grub screw. Threaded inserts are slightly softer no, than grub screws. Ask screws. Nero. Grub screws are not, <laughs> not good eating. The first thing I noticed about this thing when I fire it up, it like, heats up immediately. It is at 286, 287, yeah, let's, 89, let's look 90, at it a little closer. 91. Um, two. It gets hot so fast. Let's see that. Uh, 300. We're at 300. Yeah. So a little controller. So there's a little controller Sorry, box that comes, comes with that. it. And it comes with the, It's. I guess it's not technically a, a soldering iron. It's well, maybe, maybe yeah, that's a whole little of custom. But it comes with its own little heater thing. So you're not putting a, 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 your soldering iron in it. You know what? That angle might be even better. Um, this camera here is what we're going off of now. There was a little metal tin I brought in that has the tips and stuff in it. And I don't know what I did with it. So anyway, hmm. not important, I guess, right now. Okay. Like silver tin. I don't know. I see will it. want that yeah, back we'll at some it. point. We'll find um, it. So yeah, so anyway, what's interesting about it is it uh, has this, this adjustability. So you get your workpiece. I'm sorry. You no, get your part. And you can basically set the height of where you want your final depth to be. So I'm just going to eyeball it. And that's ultimately where it's going to be when I want it sunk. And then I'm going to place the heated insert in there. The tip is it's almost immediately hot as I fired it up and yeah uh, you turned this on earlier and it was I don't it, think we counted to five and it was it. no it's, it's <laughs> it heats like incredibly fast um 
So then there's just a rubber band. And Naomi was saying that she tried springs. She tried like a whole bunch of different things. And she said rubber bands were the best. 300 is the sweet spot so that it's applying just enough heat. And then you put the part under there. And then just let the rubber band do its work. So we can see as it's applying, if you want to get that close-up camera in there, you can see that the, it's just providing just enough as it's heating. And supposedly and we're going to get really it completely slow. Yeah, and I may, may not have set it quite as deep as I want. There we go, so we'll go like that. And then that's it. So I'm gonna do the same thing with these guys if you wanna get in close. So I'm gonna adjust it to where I want my final depth to be, which on this part is here. And then I'm just gonna set it on there and hands off. And we're gonna watch it go. I don't know, that's somewhat satisfying. I mean, it's not, it it's not super fast, but it's not, and, and the reasoning behind the, the, the rate that it's um, inserting it is that the idea that Naomi wanted is for the plastic to fully melt around the insert. Yeah, and right? she, in all the testing that she did, just like this speed with this temperature allows you to get a complete melt around the part. The, the one thing that you pointed out that I hadn't considered is if you were to walk away from this and just let it sit here, like it doesn't seem like an ideal state for it yeah. to potentially be staying like with heat applied to it for a long time. I don't know that it would, I don't know that it would be terrible, but um, it's different from like Adams because you used Adams, right? And Correct. his it, it defaults upward, right? Correct. So yep. you're, you're actually having to push down, but then that means that you're not always getting the same amount of force on it either. It's just more of a feel Correct. thing. Correct, it's by feel. Yep, it's just by feel. But for something this small, I don't know. For for smaller threaded inserts, maybe that's... I, I'd, I'd be curious to know what the difference was if, like, if you have something more massive yeah. versus this, you know, how long it would take. But that's, that's yeah. it. This is super fancy, though. This little custom machined custom heater it's not a soldering iron it's a it's a heater and it, it like you said like it immediately the rubber band set up here yeah and then she just gives you like all this bag and then there's also some like fixturing and stuff that you know if you need to be able to clamp down so i guess oh, well, you, you can make a fence or something yeah. Uh, yeah repeatable repeatability yeah so if you're interested in this this is on naomi's store um i want to say it was like 200 bucks, which is a bit pricey, but when you factor in that it, it doesn't require that you already have a soldering and iron and yeah, stuff like is, that, I don't know. This is the... Yeah, there you go. I was prepared. That's all there is to it. If anybody is interested. Oops. Do we need to do any more sure. while we're uh, for, nope, for this next step? I, I grabbed the wrong... Because my keyboard went to sleep, I didn't actually copy. So let's try this again. That is the. Oh, come on. Now I'm super into this. I want to do Why more. Why is this not. Okay. Something's not going on. What happened? I'm, well, I'm trying to copy and paste a link and it's not. Your copy pasta? Is... Wow. What is going on? There we are. <laughs> I feel like the keyboard is having some interference issues. Okay, so I think this was the other half of this one. And you said we just needed the one in one side, yeah? Yep, yep, that? just one. Okay, and then do we need to do any of the rest of these? Not now. Okay. Um, if you want to kind of split it up and use it over time. Um, Doesn't matter to me, I was going to say. Yeah. It's just kind of fun once you get going with it. It is. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I'm just looking for the rest of the bits and pieces Okay, here. so these we don't... We don't need those. Okay, so let's set them I'll aside. Well, these. if they still... If we know the need... Them right there. Okay. Super organized. Another part. This one? Not not heat set. That's just the part just we're gonna need for this. This and this then probably the opposing end of this. Is this not? Isn't there a, a, yep. an opposing side? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, so then that <laughs> one. This one does need. Nope. No. Uh, you'll see what that heat set was for. All right. There's the other one. We need them. No, we need those. No, oh, we need them now. Yeah. <laughs> These ones we don't need right away. Do, do, do. Anyway. Anywho. So let's go back to the assembly manual. So we're going to, we're basically, the next parts we're going to build are the, um, the 
A and B stepper mounts and the front idlers. Okay, this is good because you can build one side and I can just copy yep. what you're doing. Yep. I love it. And well, this, this is going to be a um, test of your um, Ability. steadiness and dexterity oh. on the front idlers. I didn't realize how it's going to be well, if it's anything like my, uh, you know, ability to eyeball a 200 millimeter difference distance. <laughs> well, yeah, you're you're on. I'm gonna crush. You're it. on your game there. Um, so this is the B drive, the A drive, B idler, and A idler. So why is this here? As you likely skipped over the advice to flip through the entire manual, we added graphics like these to assist you with the orientation of the part before you actually put them on the printer. That's smart. Mm-hmm. So. You put the insert in this part, see? Well, now, that's is that the A side or the B side? That is the A side. Okay, so that's going that here. That goes there. Okay, mm -hmm. and then this guy's like yep. this. Yep. So this guy's got something extra. So we're going to insert stepper in motors the... and idler bearings. Yep. And you put the inserts in these parts. Yep, we did that. Mm -hmm. We got that. Now we need some M5 nuts. We will need M5 nuts, which are going to be... In mm -hmm. parts there somewhere and we can probably sack and get our get our little trays back up here in place. Yeah, little now nuts. this is where I've, I've seen a lot of talk of um, Daniel Modbot has this really cool um, ah. mm -hmm. those are oh, in trees, I think. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Parts trays that are printable <laughs> um, that he uses. Did we did we shift the whole <laughs> table? Because it is on it is on wheels. It is on cap. Let me let me lock them. I never actually got around to locking them. That's that's kind of sorry. What were we saying, Modbot did? Oh. He has these um, Voron kind of branded. Here we go. There's uh, the parts Mod. trays, parts bins. Oh, that okay. Are printable. Very. That cool. have just like the exact number of trays or close to it for for, for like, like that. Uh oh, we got stuff on here. Yay! The kitchen is here. We're just showing off your goodies, Stefan. Hey. Welcome. Step one. Guten Tag. Guten, well, it's probably evening. Guten Nacht. Awesome. Okay, there's our M5s. We just inserted um, some of his, his heat sets in the, in the parts. So that's, yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay. So that was going there. That's easy. Mm -hmm. Dexterity check. <laughs> oh, uh, dang it. I put it in the... That's, <laughs> <laughs> you put it in the wrong side. <laughs> Following instructions, fail. Okay, there it is. Fail. That. Man, that fitment is so perfect. Like, just, it's, it's enough to retain it, but it really did not require any force to push it in. Beautiful. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to build the front idlers, and this is the check. So we're going to need those um, M5 by 40 bolts. So those should be relatively easy to find in there. That big. And then we have a motion system like box. Big bolts. I cannot lie. Motion. M5 by 40. Bingo, bango. Motion box has yeah. bearings. Okay. The motion box. All right, uh, there's an M540 for you. There's one for me. And we're gonna go... So let's see here. So these are the parts, and let's make sure that they fit well. Make sure they, they can be pressed together, and it looks like it. I don't wanna press them all the way together, because they are a tight, tight fit. The texture that this... Um, this glass fill this glass fill gives it does make those Ooh, pretty tight no, i just i just you know, did it. be careful pulling you just apart told me not yep. to do that and i just did it yep it'll still pull apart because it's not that bad but just kind of wiggle it wiggle it apart that that's snap fit that's, that's snap shut right, no nope, there you go perfect oh that's satisfying it is <laughs> so satisfying it's probably the right term just got back from holiday and everyone is super tired well thanks for being here stefan Appreciate it. I know. I saw you had some posts. It was, uh, I think, it was doing some cycling. Were you riding your bike, Stefan? Okay. So you see here, you're going to do one side. You're going to do the A idler. So you want the thick side. So these are the same parts. They're mirrored. So you want the. There's a. There's a thick one. Yeah. 
Yep. See that? Yep. So you yep. want that one. Okay. You want to put the, the bolt up from the bottom. Now I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to do it with the, the thin side. Okay. All right. And now and we're going to do a little washer bearing stacking. So we need the uh, F695. Uh, so these are our shims. Okay. Shims. So we're going to go one. We have bearings. We just splash them into the other bearings. One. Okay. So on a on all boron builds, yes. the bearing stacks are consistent. Okay. Um, four, a a and a stack. It's always um, two bearings, flanges out. Flanges. And let's, and let's go with flanges this. Flanges out. Mm -hmm. And then s to either side is a shim. Got it. So and now you'll see that pattern when we do the A and B drives. Okay. Because what'll happen is if you want to stack two of these, then you put a second shim, two bearings, and then a shim. Okay, so always a shim next to mm -hmm. a bearing. Yep. So it would be doubled if it's okay. All right. So I'm gonna do that here. Uh, now, now what I'm probably want now I can snap my lady on. Yeah. But you're gonna want a second um, M5 by 40. These are these are placeholders right now. Okay, so M5 by 40. Yep. Delicious. So now we can snap these together. Man, that is such a great fit. Hmm. That one is... I'm really digging this glass fill ASA, man. The finish on it is just fantastic. Okay, so now what's going to happen here is now I've got the... B side, A side. You've got the A side. Yeah. Okay. This is the A side. Okay. This is the B side. Uh -huh. So the round hole goes up. The, the the nut goes down. So what we're gonna do is very carefully hold this straight. Yeah. Let that bolt fall out. Put your Put your line your this piece back on and then push and we're and going if you're, if you're down good in the top yep and i and i wasn't good so i get to redo this <laughs> don't jinx it don't jinx it stay on target stay <laughs> on target there are probably someone's probably come up with a clever jig to make this easier. Oh, who's oh, your daddy? Oh, you got it. Who is your daddy? And what does he do? <laughs> you got it first try. First try. I did That's not. Why they call me first try pooch. They don't call me that. So I don't know. I just <laughs> nobody calls me that. <laughs> now they do. Now they do. Now they do. It's first try. Oops. Can I? It's not falling straight out is the problem. Here's ah, that looks I'm, this this black and red color combo is just gonna be wicked. Look at this, guys. Look at what look at what Mr. Fancy Pants did here. He uh, did a little layer changey for the the is this is the skirts. Is that what you call this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we got the little duo tone <sighs> skirtage. Look at that. Look at that grill action. I'm gonna have the prettiest. Right into the ball. I might have to have you do this. <laughs> My Tridex is almost done at Homes and Zetail. Awesome, Charles. I owe you an email. I owe you an email, Charles. I'll get that. I'll get that to you. Ooh. Okay. Your kids, it's not too easy to work out. Yeah. And this is. I imagine you don't know. It doesn't this need is to be tight. It's not a nylon. No, so it's not. It's, it's not in danger of no, backing out. There's or, no. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I gotta try this one more time because I'm feeling a little a little inadequate. A little inadequate. Here. Well you do that, I'm gonna have some, some of these Let me see if lovely I can Kirkland dried blueberries. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Feel that blood sugar getting low it's again. Not falling straight through, and that's causing a problem for me. Do you need me to do that for you? I might. Now I'm getting cocky and you know that's gonna cost me. Uh huh? Come on. There it is. No, no. No, no. Hold on, hold on. I can it's save this. I can save this. Get his tweezers. Get in the tweezers. It says we need gummy bears. There we go. I saved it. Okay. All right. <laughs> we need partial credit. Third try. 
Looks like the dual carriage input shaper is merged into Clipper. Have you tried it? I have not. I have not managed to get back to any... Um, Clipping? Well, any Tridex mm. um, stuff, so... I saw it. It looks nice. But it's not, it's not, ru it's not running yet? It is. It is. But it, I need to get up to date on all the new configurations and stuff. Because it's kind of a... Uh, it's not a fully baked thing. So, are skirts really necessary? Yes, they're as necessary as a bottom panel. That's another thing. We need a bottom panels on all printers. Your printer doesn't get to leave here without a bottom panel. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm getting it serialized too, right? But I gotta, I gotta do uh, the whole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Process. You have a Reddit account, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Of course, I have a Reddit account. Hey, Polar Ted. Okay, where are we at? We did those. Now we need some, probably need the M3 washers. And however, we don't. Yeah, let's do it. Just to get them in there. Do it. M, those are M5 washers. Here's M3 washers. No. And then M3 by 40 screws. Not those. That's these. Put them in here in the little half hex. All right. So you just need one of those and a washer. And all this is, and we're going to actually remove these later, but it gets it in there. This just goes in here. This is the tensioner. Yep. So just thread it in and out where it's there. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter right now because when we're out the belts, we'll, we'll remove those to get them out of the way. Yeah. But it, it sets it. Now we're going to do these. Okay. So you're going to grab yours. Give me a little next page. We're going to go back to the pages. We're going to skip the ones we've already done. Now, mine's got the threaded insert. Any by more? CNC Kitchen right here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Going off the goodies. Find my mouse. Okay. Mm. So we did this. So we did both idlers. Yeah. We did that. That. We did screws on the front. Can we get a check on Charlie real quick? Charlie can't. We got a check. He's there. You see? No, I'm not even go big though. I want to. I, I can't go big. No, you can't. You can't no, go full screen on Charlie. I have to go full screen on Charlie. Oh, that's sad. I thought it was his channel. <laughs> <laughs> Any more happened with the no Reddit serials processing? I don't know what the status on that is, Phil. I know it's one of those things that's on the on the plate, but I don't know what progress has been made. Um, is your SV twenty two forty still running, or did you get the extruder error like I and so many others have? Mine was running until I swapped it, but I swapped it for another 2209. Um, yeah. I didn't take it off because it wasn't working. I was trying other parts. Um, okay, so now we're on here. Hmm. So we need some M5 by 30s, I believe. Yep. And now we're going to build more bearing stacks. So you're going to need two of those. Like. I'm going to need two of these. So then through the, if you take the top piece, which is the one with the inserts. Yep. And then the, um, it goes in that hole and that hole. Okay. And then generally what I'll do is I'll hold this upside down with my fingers, yep. making sure those don't fall out. Got it. And then we start grabbing. And then we do our standard bearing sack mm -hmm. and then we're doubling it. Yep. So... So let's go through these first. So you're one shim, yep. two bearings. Yep, another shim. And then for that one, you do two shims. Another shim. Yep. Another and bearing. Two bearings. Flange down, flange up. Shimmy shim, shima. Shim shimmery. The garage instead of the shop. Yep. This is the. So my house is configured with a single car garage directly in front of the house. And then perpendicular to that is a two-car garage. Almost. Normally where I'm at is in the single-car garage. Uh, but there is not nearly enough room, as you have seen, for two people to work over there. It's cozy in here. <laughs> it's actually borderline getting cold. It is, actually. The, uh, let's turn, the, let's turn that off. On? Let's turn that off. I was yeah, feeling we were, warm We were after worried we were going to have one of those hot Sacramento, uh, you know, pre-summer days. Is it summer yet? It's got to be getting close to summer solstice. 21st or? We're getting we got, there. We got a couple more weeks. Yeah. Another week. Okay. So now that 
goes like that. No. And then we can put this. Now that kind of... What, what, are, we, um, what are we missing here? Nothing. It'll, it'll line up. There are modeled in threads. So oh, just, oh, 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 just kinda... I, hold on a second. I did a double stack where I shouldn't have done a double stack. Hmm? There's only a single step. Oh, on yes, one. yes. One one side. Sorry. I was not watching. Yep. That's my bad here. We'll, so we'll set that aside. One no of them's a single stack. The other one's a double stack. Yep, yep. I'm like, why? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Okay. There we go. So then you can turn it over and kind of hold that together. And then um, these are modeled in threads. Oh, they are. So, I was going to say so that's when not I go, through. So when I go here, to. I kind of try to feel for where those start yeah. by reversing. Oh. Yep, do the old reverse, reverse the screwdriver. And then and it's, it's hard to feel with the plastic um, where it is, but I caught both of those just right. So, so now that was an interesting choice, and that for the, the basically they're trying to emulate a nylock by having the modeled in threads so that it doesn't well and throw it's, it and, back it's out. and it's spacing. And I actually put too many. I think I grabbed two shims on one of these. So I mean, it, the the threads printed really well. I mean, like it's it's. Like it was tapped. Yes. Yeah. The, it, it works really well. Um, but once again, there's another thing where there isn't any real forces here that are going to cause it to... Just for the uh, idlers. It's not yeah. necessarily going to back itself out. Boy, that is just a great feel. Really love that. Okay. All right. And I grabbed extra... Crushing it. Extra shims, apparently, when I put that together so things didn't line up so now they're going to let me see if i've made anybody a moderator a moment no it doesn't look like it <laughs> why doesn't everyone ever read youtube descriptions i'm thinking of storing all my passwords in your youtube description because i know no one would ever see them so that is a good point we are an hour and 43 minutes into here mm -hmm. we do have a bunch of stuff in the description so Pooch has provided a 10% off coupon to his store. So that's Voron Love 10. Yeah. It's, the it's, the, it's in the description. It How long does that last? Uh, I've got it up there for the, for the remainder of the month. So not okay. in any hurry. I mean, we'll, we'll, I'll leave it active while we're doing the, while we're doing the, the, build. the, the build. Okay. So 10% off. And then there's two giveaways. We're, well, four giveaways technically. We're giving away our normal Polymaker filament, mm -hmm. um, thanks to Polymaker, and um, you're giving away gift cards to your store. Yep, we 20, got a 25, 25, 50, and 100. Yep. Yep, so be sure to check those out. And that's good for any of the stuff that we sell in the store or resell. So like I said, if you're, if you're looking for Revo stuff, we've got E3D, we've got uh, threaded inserts, uh, all kinds of interesting stuff. Awesome. And of course, rep boxes and filament and all yep. that. Okay, those two are done. That's awesome. This is quick. Mm -hmm. And half is slow. Now we need um, steppers. So we got a stepper box. Cable kits, electronics. Are all the steppers in here? Yes. All right, so here's a stepper for you. Roasted chippies. And a stepper for me. By the way, if you want any of these I'm snackies, I'm, I have a cliff bar later. I, I might. No, no, no. How do you not get low blood sugar, man? This takes a lot of work. This takes a lot <laughs> out of you. There we go. It was just good. You happy? Shifted. All right. The red box is my favorite storage, but I need 10 more of them. Well, you can get 10 more of them at 10% off now. Don't knock it. <laughs> yeah, that's a substantial savings. Yeah. Um, okay. okay, that's a stepper. So those are the steppers. These are, these are which, what point, do we have here? These are 0.9 NEMA 17s by mm -hmm. LDO. These are the two amp. Mm hmm I've got it. Yeah. So these are the 42 STH 48 2004s with a very cool Voron. Very uh, cool Voron logo. There we go. I love the feel. You can feel that 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 fine granularity in the step when you just give it a little mm -hmm. clock it. Yeah, these are 0.9 degree. Mm -hmm. Printers fueled off of coffee and Charlie fur. 
Have you considered doing a rep box with a heater? Yeah, so that? we've we've gone up and down and all throughout that that process. Um, someday is the answer to that, but the materials that we're using is not ideal for it. Um, certainly not the oh, acrylic. Right. Uh, and since we got away from the MDF, the MDF didn't feel great either. So when we start getting into the pro line stuff, which is in the roadmap, like folded metal. Oh, okay. We will go back to that. Okay. We need right now it's passive and we've been, Oh, one of the things that's new actually is we're using the slice engineering activated alumina. Which I don't know if you've played with that mm -hmm. desiccant, but it is crazy strong stuff. Really, like What's... ten times more effective than silica, um, and uh, it, it it has the ability to draw down moisture to a much lower percentage. Like silica, if you've ever thrown silica in a bag or a box or whatever, like maybe you'll see fifteen, sixteen percent at best, right? Like that's okay. that the, that's its peak ability to draw moisture out of air before it reaches some degree of equilibrium the activated alumina can go down as low as like two or three percent in a well sealed hmm. uh thing so it all has to do with how often you're opening and closing and stuff for most of the things that we print though and it depends on your environment mm -hmm. certainly but we found it just to be simpler because the the whole idea of the box is that it's designed to be printed out of right so there's a million better dry box solutions. If you just want to store it and stuff, get a Tupperware that seals. Get one of those things down at Home Depot that's got the gas getting mm -hmm. in it and throw a bunch of silica in there. That's fine too. But, you know, if you want something that displays things nicely and all that, throw some silica, throw some of this activated alumina in there and you got the best of both worlds, right? You can still pull it down, print from it. That's, that's our take. You may disagree with me. That's fine. <laughs> Is it rechargeable? The, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just heat in the oven. Yeah. yeah. You, you have to you have to give it a bit more heat than you would traditional uh, silica. I want to say the instructions are printed. I want to say it's like three hundred, three fifty Fahrenheit. I, I don't quote me on that. If you want to go look on Slice's page, it, it might be hotter than that. Um, so you know, it's more than your toaster oven's gonna do. Got it. Someone's saying I'd love a red box, but shipping to this hemisphere makes it unavailable. Which hemisphere? So we have, you have European vendors. So we have an EU distribu actually distribution, actually just online. And what's cool about that is that um, it's, it's like 20 bucks anywhere in the EU. But I don't know if they're saying hemisphere. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking hemisphere. too. Yeah. Or if they're talking about Australia, um, that's, a, that's been a tough nut to crack, getting the distribution down under. It's like Charlie doesn't know what he wants. Charlie is so. indecisive right now. It's new. He'll get used to this spot. All right, we got our, uh, oh, are these the tasty grub screws you were telling me about? They are. They've got some extra blue coating, too. Mm. A little extra blue, pre -loctited. blue flavor. They do. Pre-loctited with blue. Blue flavor. Blue is a flavor. To quote you just had some blue flavor. Yeah, blue flavor. Uh, okay, uh, so okay. we have got handy-dandy. Little grubby-dubby-dubby. Fabrico driver for you, Ooh. and I'll grab my MIP driver here. Did you see Hector send you these? He did. Man. I even got the fancy, huh? fancy. Hector likes you better than me. Fancy he aluminum. Does. He's known you long. Mount. That's slick, man. I dig it. I don't think this is, there we go. Yeah, I got the same thing. There it felt go. like it was cross-threading. It's just a, a aggressive amount of, I'm just doing a little, just to get that Loctite. It's the Loctite. Yeah, they, they put a healthy dab on there. Yeah, that's, that's what a, it is. That's a healthy dab. That's what it is. It wasn't cross-threading, it's the Loctite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my, yeah, my P drivers. Oh, got, yeah. These are slick. Look at this, yeah, man. The nice red anodized. Huh. This is a this is an interesting idea. So it's like the the shaft of the tool itself is held in with its own grub screw, so they can mm -hmm. use interchangeable handles. Wow, this Loctite is aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so for your the on screen is your driver. So the the you got one in. Hold on. The orientation of the of the pulley. 
Okay, is what's on screen this for you. Is yep, that's the A drive. A drive. Mm -hmm. How, is there a distinction? Well, when the when the pulley goes on, it's a distinction. Uh, I see. So I yours see. is going to go on like it, this. Mine's going to go on upside the, down of that. To the stepper. Yeah. Okay. Following you now. So it is okay. definitely. Definitely some aggressive Loctite there. Let's do it this way. There goes my pulley. I gotcha. Pick me up. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I can... It's like they painted it on there. <laughs> okay. And then... We are in... And we're alignment going teeth. Tool. So on the A drive, we're going teeth, teeth up. up. Mm -hmm. And this is our alignment tool. And this yep. is going to go underneath. Nope. So the way these work is here. So on this, you see an A and a B, uh -huh. and then this would uh -huh. be a Z uh -huh. for, I see. for 2.4. I see, I see. But A, since yours is the A drive, now if we take this and we set this here, uh -huh. that's where that lines up. To. That's going to line up to the top to of the, the middle. Pole. To the middle to the of the middle. teeth. Oh, I see, the teeth. Uh -huh. Very good. Yep. Very so then you want clever. to line up one side one of your grub screws with the flat and then just get it in there to where it can still slide but doesn't rotate okay all right we got that okay so either the grub screws doesn't matter it doesn't matter but it here so we're gonna give it remember a you want blueberry grub screws do not get the strawberry ones you will never get them out that's a good point the strawberry they, they grub came screws pre, pre blueberried yeah the but strawberry, strawberry ones you need heat. to add heat yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You need to cook them cook strawberries uh, okay, so where's, where's the man? Yeah, I'll drop it on the floor. So then you got you. that. And All right, it is a little a little finicky. Okay, so um, this is a, is it? This is going to go on the. It goes on the side, so it goes right like that. On, that's what it I kind of spaces it in the right general spot. Come and on, then baby. That will. Maybe I snugged it too much. It doesn't slide all the way. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Major Gamer Geek. I think we're having fun. I'm having fun. Yeah. Oh, I see what's going on. I think I think the timer on the heater. Ah. Uh, got... <laughs> no more heat. Charlie says he's out. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Now this isn't critical. This gets us in the ballpark. Okay. Because we really want to fine tune this when um, when we get to the get it on the on the printer. Okay, well, then I won't, won't overdo it, but that, that seems to be... Yeah, you're getting close. So you have like a little... The shaft is just a touch under the top of the mm -hmm. pulley there. So, and then I never I never totally tighten the other one. I just take it to where it's buttoned. Because we're going to adjust these once they're on the, once they're on the printer and line it up with the actual belt path. Perfect. So, next. I'm going to guess we're going to put them into the... Mm -hmm. And where are we at? We're at an hour and five minutes. We have 200 and something likes. How many likes do we actually hour, have? An hour and 55 minutes. Hour right? and 55 minutes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's what I meant. Okay. Um, we're, we're still aiming for our 300 likes, right? Yeah. And where are we at? But because of my view here, all I see is the two. Two dot, so dot, I, dot. So I rely on the audience to tell me how many actual likes I have. Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll tell me. Widen your screen mm -hmm. a touch. Uh, then I can't see my preview. Uh. I mean, I can widen... I can widen this much, that much. It still doesn't get me there. The interface is a little weird. Gary, thanks for becoming a member. We're 221 now. We got an hour to get 200 to beat our record. I'm 225 now. Mm -hmm. Do I hear 230? <laughs> 227. There we are. 69. <laughs> and thanks, Josh. Nice, huh? 42, 32, 32. Look at this. We're just... Uh-huh. Come, come on, baby. <laughs> this is exciting. Okay. So now we've put palpable. these now we've put these on and we can uh, did that, did take that. M3 by 30s. M330 SHCS. Super high carbon steel. Close. Super hardened. Very close. Socket head cap screw. Socket head cap screw. <laughs> You're almost there. Socket head cap screw. 
Should have known. Okay, now the the uh, wire orientation is to, to the, the outside, outside of the printer. Yeah. Or a car. And then you're gonna want your 2.5 driver here. I'm gonna want your 2.5 driver here. Unless you're saying I get to keep these. No. Oh. Come on, Hector, I'll show them off on my channel too. <laughs> no, he's been very generous and we thank you. Yeah, Hector is an awesome guy. Dun, 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 dun. Man, that is so satisfying. I guess I we only need three. I gave you four, didn't I? No, you give me. Well, I had one, and you give me two more. Oh. You know, we easily fix that problem. Yep. Putting it back over there. Okay. There's, All right. There's a. Got that. Got that. Good. That one goes there. Sehr gut. That one goes there. Let's see. Check pockets. I don't have anything in my pockets. I've got my phone. Oh, and now, so that was all the A drive, but I did the B drive, so we get to skip all this. BH button head socket. Button head. Wait, BHCS? Button head. Button head cap screw. Cap screw. Mm -hmm. There you go, cap screw. Yeah. Socket, socket head, head, cap head cap screw, button head cap screw. Flat head cap screw. Mmm. Those are the Flat three that we have. So, so the next point is we're going to put these on the actual frame. And we're going to put the, the rear cross brace in there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So making sure we're at the back. I do, I do like that they preview what you will be Boys doing. Will, yeah. That's really helpful. Really well done. The design I and mean, the build guide is second to none on these things. Second. Yeah, we've been we've been very lucky to have some folks that work on these currently. Which is crazy this... because documentation is like the last <laughs> thing anybody wants to do. Yep. If you want to bring the frame around and just set it over these things. Coming back around again. This is for the printers of the sun. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what we're, what we're looking we, at is we be like pre-installed all uh, these T nuts. Now this is interesting. There's a. Um, so it's just going to snap over on this. What, what we, we end up doing is loosen those just so it snaps over easier. Makes sense. Yeah. Make and we had pre-installed all these T-nuts. Yep, T-nuts are in place. And then if we notice here, the call out for this M3 T-nut, which is the, the off one. The bottom? Yep. Yep, it's on the bottom on that side. Why, why, why? Because there is a, a printed part that goes there that um, is the bumper for the um end stop for the y end stop i see and it's in here somewhere and we'll i'll find it i'll find it later but okay so the bumper is going to go there all right yeah all right hey maple leaf makers welcome hey he's with it he was saying he was going to miss the first hour yeah. you missed the first yeah. two hours he did you what are we two looking for hours well what we're going to lose the, well i don't know we're, i don't know what we're doing yet i said i see what we're going to be doing but i don't know what the actual yeah. step is so well let's scroll down Let's get that. Scrolly. Give it a scrolly. Those. And then we're going to put our front idlers in. So same type thing. We'll loosen them up, snap them over. Um, so what I do is I first hold this up here yep. and then take something and line these, the the holes up. Is it supposed to go all the way to the front? All there, the way to the front. And yep. then we got that. And that, this is where your orientation of when you're nuts. putting the T-nuts in really comes in handy, right? Because yep. this wouldn't line up right Correct. had we put the uh, the elongated side. Yep. And, uh, and because these are, uh, what are they called, the ball detents or whatever, this side over here, Correct. they're off that because the spring, the, the and, the spring. spring and ball have to go yep. somewhere. Makes sense. Okay. It's just a snap over. So did you loosen I it? I did loosen did that just a little bit. Okay. Just to make sure that it's not causing any problems. All right. Any good, how many makers does it take to screw in a BHCS joke? Hey, oh, uh, two, one, seven. <laughs> so how do I get a special, a Etsy build special one-to-one -one build support for my Trident build? Gotta you, be you in the area. Close to him. And you, you be nice. 
There we go. There you go. And then we're going to need a bunch of... This is one we need a whole spot for. So let's grab this. And you know what? I forgot to line up my bottoms. Uh oh. There we got this. Did you line up the bottom ones? I did. It's like you've done this yeah. before, man. It's Couple not fair. Times. Not fair. Okay. What do you got for me? Actually, for the tops, you're probably going to want the ball head. So let me do the tops over here. Button head. Oh, which side? It's this one? These size? Yeah. Okay. Ten. M M5 by 10s. There you go. And then for the and bottom. The ball head comes in handy. Yeah. Now, this um, ding, 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 kit ding. came with tools, and I'm pretty sure a three millimeter ball end hex wrench is in that list of tools. Where are those but tools But not nearly are? as slick as these guys. No. These Vera. Vera, Vera. Installed at 254 lights. Come on, guys. We need our three hundies. We'll get there. The streak. Keep the streak alive. So Danny liked three times. She's, she's doing it right. How do you do that? You used to have a, multiple accounts? Oh, you like it, then you unlike it, then you like it. You get one like. But it, it counts. It as long as it's an odd number, it's right. It counts it? No, no, it won't no, count. You only get you one. Like it. You only get one. Yeah. But if if you like clicking the button, then yeah. as long as you do it an odd number of times, well, we only have two hundred and fifty one viewers. <laughs> so, but we'll yeah. get there. Because like people it, come and like go. it, like it, and so like the number it. of people come back and like it again yeah. later. Log into your <laughs> other account. But PF Dennis did said he liked on two accounts. Let's see. The Allen keys from LDO <laughs> are too bad. Aren't, aren't too bad. Aren't, aren't too I think bad. Aren't too bad. Aren't yeah. too bad. Yeah. So then just the, the point here is make sure that you've pushed it all the way to the front. Yep, I'm all the um, way. Before tightening them. And then they can be they can be snubbed. I snubbed it. Here's for the bottom, if I can grab the ball end for the top. It's my ball end. Alright, I mean I don't I don't think that's yep. going anywhere. Okay, good. Yep. So now we're on. So now we gotta go do these guys, I'm guessing. So that's those two. And then the rear. So that's going to go there, but you're going to want to loosen up those nah. uh, at the very least. I just YOLO'd it. Oh, it went on. Enough flex in I've the I've got a, in the shop. Got a, yeah. Oh, did you did you line up your did you line up your screws yet? No. <laughs> but I can. I'm going to just eyeball that. that. This one's my M3, which is there. That M3 is going to be... That's awesome. I grab a handful of screws and it's the number of them I need. Isn't that great when, like, you know, so life is clicking? You know? Everything's turning up millhouse. Now remember, on the bottom, you only get one on that side. The, the rear, rearmost one. Yeah, I got, yeah, the, ball, we got the, I the ball end over here. That's right. I, I just... You can get it. I just faked it. When it's time to really snoog it down, I'll get it from you. And there we go. Snoogums. Give a little. Panzer Cabin, thanks for the gift of memberships. They're asking if I know anything about building a trident. Only a little bit. I love it when you grab a bunch of items and it's the exact number you need. Yep. People and and you, what's funny is you, you always check, right? It yeah. doesn't matter if you grab a bunch of things. Yeah. you got to check. Yeah. <laughs> that just happened. Okay. Okay. We are... We got to do our little... Yep, we'll do that cross brace back there. Cross bracey bracey. And then we're making okay. sure our wires went off to the side. I'm looking at the manual here. It's on... And then I need to grab, oh shoot, your bottom one you got to take off. That's an M5 by 16. I should have known that. Bottom bolt is different. It's a it's an M5 by 16. Because we got that part that's going to you got that part that goes on there. Yep. Someone uh, probably told me that in chat. No and I missed problem. It. 
We got this. So that's this guy. It's a sustainer. So this is, yeah, that's all it is is a little bumper to. Yeah. Hey, John, thanks for the gift of memberships. Oh, I see. And they just went M3 because of the way the. Huh. Well, I, I did. I just went M3. By they. <laughs> Not doing senseless. No, we're building this mostly to the kit. Um, there's a couple, like, we're, we're probably going to do tap um, on this. Tabaroo. Mm -hmm. Okay, where's my M3? What size M3 do we need? It's an M3 16? by 12. 12? There's a 12. Right in there. Oh, you you one really one? couldn't have found a design that used the same size screw, so you didn't have to... There was a reason I did out. that. I don't remember the reason. <laughs> but it, it was a good one at the time. There was. There was. Okay. It's, a great, it was a, it's a great reason. There you it go, was a good reason. Good reason. I don't remember. My, this is one of my pet peeves with designs. Like, hey, there three, really need to be 20 different size screws on this thing. Got Grant, 3D Musketeers here. Hey, Grant. Grant. Welcome. What's happening? Yeah, Charlie. Charlie is comfortable right now. Charlie is chill. <laughs> he, he's warm too. Because heated I, mat. I lured Charlie into being comfortable by putting an actual heated pad under his. It's like he's in speak, his bed. You know how to speak his language. <laughs> okay. All right. We got our bumper. Good on food. He's doing good on food. Bumper. Got okay. Now bumper. we got that. I'm gonna line these up. Well, now that one for sure. We're gonna need to loosen these in order to get um, it in. How much you want to bet? Well, if you, want to, if you want to break it, that's fine. Who's going to do the wiring? Steve builds or is holding one wire and the other crimping it? Well, it's, a, it's, it's an LDO wire. So everything's pre-wired. Now, that's not 100% true. No. The, the, well, maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it is now. It's 100% true. It used to be that the extruder motor wasn't crimped. This one is. That is no longer the case. So, pre-crimped. Um, we're going to turn this around before we put that on. Yeah, it's I'm just, just, gonna be I'm easier. just lining, lining up the nuts. What does it say our next thing is? Zombie said I need to be watching because this is my future soon. Oh, there's a lot of Trident builds lately. Trident is a... That's awesome. It's a nice kit. It's it makes a nice me, piece of makes kit. makes me feel good. I have a kit for one of my... I well, kept saying, I'm like, I want to do a 2.4. And he's like, no, no, Trident, Trident. <laughs> Fine, Steve, we'll do your Trident. So do you know what orientation that goes? Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, just, this because is going to go for the... Yeah. Good yeah. job. And here's our page with the T-nut yep. orientation. We've already, we've already t -nutted. And then that goes in there. Okay, so you're saying we're going to have to loosen that again. I think you're right, but I just wanted to... Uh -huh. We'll just do that. Double check. That'll at least hold it there, and then we gotta loosen all of these guys. I'll get these. Now you do that one. Let's go here because I keep forgetting, and maybe if we can work, uh, it might be hard to actually work yeah. in camera. Where are we at? Build the trident on the bamboo. On top of a bamboo? I, I, I'm wondering if they meant print the parts for the Trident. I'm not sure. Love the Trident. Rebuilding my 250 Trident and just ordered the last major parts for the Tridex build. Awesome. That got snap in there. Mm-hmm. There we go. Man, that is a thing of beauty. And then it's not important mm. because it doesn't really matter, but I like to center this between the parts. So make sure the gap here is the same as the gap over there. All right, so I would say, and hold on, I'll, I'm going to do it by eye, and then you can get your ruler out and tell me how close to center I was. Well, okay. this is something that the human eye is really good at judging, especially at these short distances. Especially these human eyes. Exactly. So we'll when I got my LASIK done, I slipped the extra hundy to the surgeon. Yeah, I said 2022 okay, instead of the 2020. That's right, that's right. <laughs> 2025. <laughs> Uh, um, nailed it. Okay. At this point, we start to see the color scheme too. So good. I don't know. It looks so good, guys. Here, let me, so good. let me adjust this camera. Love me some red. There we go. 
Mm -hmm. I have one printed from a Mark III. Gary, thanks for the gifted membership. Mm -hmm. Do we want to actually measure this? The guy that Gary, go ahead, you can measure it. I'm confident. Are you? Yeah. What do we got? Yeah, we're right at five millimeters. Wait a minute, I, I think it shifted. I, I was gonna say. I, no, 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 I think it shifted because I'm seeing a bigger gap moved, over here. Yeah, now. yeah I, I noticed that too. Hold on, let me get let me get reestablished before I get. Okay. Okay, now I feel better. Now, now you're good. We are at about four point five. I think. I think. What do you think? I think you're still off. Which way? This way. See, the problem is you don't have a good reference. Point I know. Because there's, there's a there's a fillet on the end of that. Yep. I'm trying to eyeball it. I think we're right there. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to call it right there. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll find out, Troy. I'm not going to say anything, and, and maybe maybe Pooch won't notice chat once a couple more people speak. You got to, you can't see this one. We, we want to see if you notice something. See if you ask a question. And he's reading chat. He's like, what? Ask a question. You can compete with Charlie. John Stern. He <laughs> makes that. Magnet. Nathan, what are we talking? It's ASA glass fiber. Yeah, Fadix. This, this filament is Fadix ASA glass fiber. Okay, did I mess something up? I didn't notice something? Oh, no, no, no. We, okay. we're, we're having fun. Oh, okay. You now now, we're, just, you now we're just having fun. You guys have fun. Are these lined up uh, still? Uh, yeah. Well, no, 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 no. no. We're going to get one of those in there to lock it in place. Otherwise, it's going to go out of, out of whack. Oh, man, that would ruin everything. It would just... If, there. Now it's locked It might not place. affect your prints, but it will affect the feng shui. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I can't believe how well those tapped uh, the, the print in place thread. I know. Work. That's original RCF modeling there. The guy, it's, the guy knows what he's doing. Yes. I'll tell you what, man, I'm excited for that 24 when it drops. Yeah. The big boy. Yep. Big boy. I have. Um... I have frame parts for that coming. Yeah, dude. I have some of the frame parts here. Yeah. Well, you better decide where it's going because you're not going to get it back out that way. You know, because if you have the garage door, if you're building it in the house, it's how not is the back repeatability the and reliability with my Tridex? Is it hands off once the setup right? I'm looking at building a reliable printer capable of doing two colors. I don't have enough time on there to be, give you a good answer on that. Um, and the time I do have on there, I've changed too many things. So once I've had more prints on it, I could give you a better better answer there, Anton. I'm going to guess we need our little bracket to use. Yep, the yep. Thing. But you have to scroll. I have to scroll. Yes, it is. You're it is time to scroll. Failing your scroll. You're so we got those done. Job is scrolled out. Now we're going to put in the, yep, the, the bracket. The bracket to do's. So bracket to do's. I'd be curious at some point checking. Do you know what? You didn't print the bracket. I don't know where they are. You didn't print the bracket. I might not have printed the bracket. There's always something. I think I might have missed purple. Were they red? Did I happen to do them in red? Because I've been looking for black. Uh, what color do you want them in? I don't know that it matters to me. Because I think we're going to have to print them. Okay. Unless well, I go looking fine. to see if that's they... That's not going to stop us, really. No, we can keep moving. We can keep moving, but I think... There might be I... a couple other tridents. We can steal them off of around here. <laughs> steal your bracket. They wouldn't, they wouldn't be a match. That's true. What color do you want them? Do you want them black or red? Uh, do you know what you black. just did? Do you know what you just did? Yeah, what are you doing? 
Yeah. He's pushing on the rear extrusion. It's it's, it's pushing on it. You know what you're Why doing down it? here? Twisting? Yeah. But it, it, this is bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we were wondering if you would notice. That it's offset. It's intentionally offset. It is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's intentionally offset. Why? <laughs> um, because, and the reason that this, this, this is lined up with the frame. Yeah. This extrusion is not because the belts go here. Yeah. So this has to be off. Okay. Now it's okay. We're going to put a straight edge across the back here to make sure okay. that this is still perpendicular. This is just triggering me though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't push the extrusion. Um, was there a reason why you settled on supporting the gantry center from the bottom rather than from the top? Are you talking about this rear vertical extrusion? It's because the, um, it's because you, um, it gives us more room for one for the, the rear bed mounts. Um, and the other, it just made more sense for it to um, have its reference point, a fixed point on the frame where this um, rear gantry piece is, can float depending on your printed part and, and stuff. So the belt thickness, the belt thickness. We didn't put in the rear. We didn't put in the T-nut bar either. Someone reminded me. But we can. No, don't twist it. Don't twist it. We'll want why, to. Why don't we just want to loosen it and then rotate it? You can't. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, the gap here, I don't know if we're going to have enough to actually. I think it would be better to loosen these and pull it off. So it goes here, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. what I was saying is if we loosen here, rotate 180, slide it in, rotate back. And I wasn't talking about twisting. But you, you got that perfect the first time. That's true. I did. You did. But I could do I it think again. it's easier to pull this. All right. Especially really? um, yeah. while I get a um, while I get a print going. And that's our other. That is the that is the X one, the oh. X the MGN twelve. The... So wait, you want me this to pull is, this, this from here work. again? Huh? Yeah, pull that. You might only have to pull one side out and let it. All right. I know. We forgot. That's why chat's here. There's some tape on here that stuck to it. Charlie is comfy. Let's see here. That sounded familiar, but I don't I can't place it. That's something that's appeared in many things, but what's the what's the most common? It's off of an Offspring album that I remember. I'm sure it's yeah. been used in. Right. They probably sampled it from something else. Most of this res residue yeah, 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 here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I need to get a printer preheating. Hey, while you're doing that, let's get, get a brother a refill. Yes. Thanks. Yep, yep, yep. The service here is just phenomenal. Okay, so I, we are missing music. You're, you're absolutely right, Danny. That's what I usually have some that's music. What I'm that's missing. what I, I was, do. That's why I was singing, and I'm a, I'm a poor replacement. I have it. Music. I have it all queued up and everything. Holy moly, that's loud. Oh yeah. <laughs> I usually have this just at the level where the microphones probably aren't picking it up. Just where you're not going to get demonetized. No, it's all it's, it's all royalty free anyway. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised you don't you don't actually feed it onto the. On it the, does. It goes out to. Oh, it does. yeah. Okay, um, we should see that here. Desktop audio. Going. Sorry about that. Okay, we. I need to get this 
I'm going to print this with whatever filament is in it right now. Full send. It's going to be either black or red. Okay. I think it's red right now. One black and one red one, please. You wanted to take <laughs> twice as long. <laughs> Trigger people. <laughs> what? Why would you do I, that? I'm really surprised that I would have missed that. I'm a little disappointed in you, Steve. I, I'm disappointed in myself. I'm not going to lie. Nearly 9,000 subscribers? Awesome. That's nuts. Uh, uh, is that where is that where you're at? What were you at? That's not just from almost nine thousand. Yeah. Full. Yeah. Yeah. That's great, dude. That's awesome. When did you start the channel? Um, September 2021. Nice. So about 18 or 21 months ago. It's good. You're coming along. Okay. All right. Um, now we can put the Z. This is this one, right? is yep no oh, twisty twist awesome. my bad there i'm gonna go get coffee you and start a print are going I'm gonna well put I've this got back a, to it, it's got a free heat it's going to be a little bit um mm -hmm. the next thing that we are going to do is those parts which parts? Um, but then we're going to go into putting in um, um, linear rails and stuff. So let me get coffee okay. going. You can, linear, you can entertain folks. Linear, and... Let's get linear. Thomas, thanks for getting the membership. Your people, you have to make donations so that Pooch stops singing. <laughs> Be right back. Linear, let me, let me turn off my mic. You're, you're listening to Smooth Jazz with Pooch right here on the Steve Builds channel. We're undoing, redoing, re undoing. Probably gonna forget to tighten something again. We'll go back through. Snug it all down again. Length, spy, try, view. Get your woman on the floor. Gotta, gotta get up, get down. Gotta, gotta get up, get down. Anyone know of a model for a printed monitor arm? How big a monitor are you putting on there that you want to print something? Bye, Charlie. Oh. I think Charlie just got sad that Steve went inside and wanted to go with him, but he'll be back, Charlie. Don't worry, I'm not that bad. Charlie doesn't like me, apparently. Who knew? Cats and pooches don't get along sometimes. Yeah, see, everybody was saying that I was just going to phone it in and have Steve do all the work, but nope, he's making me do it, which is good. It's the best way to know your printer, right? That's why I love doing the Prusa kits. I think everybody should be required to build <clears throat> printer from a kit because it gives you a good understanding of what to do when it breaks or when it goes wrong, which it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And then you have a better idea of how to diagnose it, right? <clears throat> Am I right? Am I right? Boy, this thing being off just really throws me. Line up, line up. <laughs> All right. So, I think everything's snug down. I told you he'd be back. <laughs> Saw you go inside and was like, deuces. Ooh, water's just good. Stay hydrated. Hmm.
That's delicious. There we go. Okay, what I miss? Uh, somebody's gonna print a monitor arm, I think. Ah. Oh, Charlie's out, so let's turn that. Charlie's on my... Charlie's being held. And where are you? You're putting that back together. Is it, is it perfectly centered? Uh, well, I didn't move it, so... Well, this. Did you pay um, attention? I left the nut... I, I did, and I, just, I went with the assumption that the T-nuts didn't slide around, so I aligned it back that way. It looks great. Perfect. It looks great. Uh, what's next? We're gonna, we the, use the trident is the heating back. up. They're going to be black. Because that's what's it's good. On the I want it black. Right now. The black will go with the steppers here. Yeah, there we go. So what we can do is turn it upside down and put the um, Y. I'm um, gonna invert it. Rails on. Yes. There we go. Those are the sound effects. Right there. Okay. Let's get linear. Let's All get these. in here. So we did a free greasing on these before stream. They All of them feel been good. Been I don't they have them feel any that are any better than others. Let's go here and here. So how how OCD are you? Not nearly as OCD as you are. <laughs> Does the orientation of the linear rails on the printer make any difference to you? Um, okay, so if I were just going to pick, uh -huh. like, how to do it, uh -huh. I'm probably going to do the wrong way, but I would say, like, I like my my text uh -huh. for the LDO to be opposing, okay. like this. But you also placed them that way. But this seems... Well, that was random. This seems pleasing to me. Okay. Is that but, what you would have done? No, I, my, my criteria, done? my criteria is consistent. So, so you would you, have oriented them so that the, no, no, the, you, the you, text would be the same way? No, you did something that's consistent. Ah. So if it was something like one one way and one the other way, then... But it is one one way and one's the other way. Sort of. What, what else, There's no wrong way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Speaking All right. of let's go linear, I saw Olivia Newton-John live. Awesome. Linear, linear. Okay, all right, good. So we got our Charlie. little alignment doohickeys. Do and then we're gonna need a whole root. bunch of M three by eights. I love it. And we're doing every one, right? No, every. We're it gonna, looks like they do every other in the in the T bar. Yes. So starting at the end, it's every other one going to the front. Let's see here now. There's the wrong way and the steep way. All writing must go in the same direction, just like the belts. I, I yeah. kind of flip back and forth. So on this, well, whether it's the same direction or if you're standing in the middle of the printer, you should be able to turn and read it on either one is how it is now. Yeah. I'm fine with that. I mean, there's, there's no other way. <laughs> well, we could have gone this way. Right. In which and case then you read both, both of them. Yeah, yeah, I kind of yeah. actually no, prefer this way. Yeah. Okay. Good, then we, then we, you concur. You're right, Charles. Thank you. It, we have 30 minutes until all it the giveaways. Away, it's giveaway time. It's giveaway time. So we, are you tightening those or are you? No, just, the, just getting them. Just getting them in, in because I'm yep. assuming there's like a like a tramming process or a truing or I don't know what you want to call it. I don't this one I think I snugged down a little too much, so there we go. I'm gonna grab these. And where did the Fabrico drivers go? Uh, well, this is no, not. It's not the. Uh, did I put it back? I don't think so, because I. I definitely put some back. Did you? But I don't know if did I put you them, throw them in, the, right... in the wrong spot. You uh, did. Probably. You did throw them in the wrong spot. Just to, just to really get your go. Confuse me, Mad Chammy. Thank you. Found it. Your youngest fans just blew out my ear again. Hi, Steve. <laughs> Thank. Say hi for me. Hey yo. Hi ho. I hi -ho. met I met Mad Chammy for the first time, and his partner and children at um, the Rocky Mountain Rep Rock Festival. The rumor, yes. And 
That was a good show. The team put on a good show. Now, are you, what of the rest of the year events are you going to? I will not be at Murph. I will be at Earth. Okay. And I am going to do my damnedest to be at Smurf. Yeah. Uh, I will also be at Open Sauce next month. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe some others we'll see. Oh, I'll be at the, the Lightburn Exchange in Illinois in October. Oh, okay. So I'm speaking at that. It's a laser laser cutting conference. Yeah. Okay, so what I do for these is this is all relatively loose and there is a little bit of play here. Yeah. So what I would do is move the, our guides into place. Yep. Um, I would make sure that the way these were printed um, so these were printed this way. Okay, so you're looking surface. at the surfaces. I would yep. make sure that those are so you have on there the same and same and way. Thick, and yeah. then I'd probably just either side just kind of barely touch it to that side. And bias it yeah. to it doesn't side. matter which side, really. Okay. And then you start from the center and tighten out. Okay, center out. Mm -hmm. Middle out. Yep. Just like the compression algorithm. Did you watch Silicon Valley? No. Oh, so funny. And then basically what you're doing there, I just kind of snug and then do a final tightening at the end. I don't know if you're into mic judging. Oh, hey, Adam, the Vector 3D is here. Hey. Hey, we were talking about your goodies earlier. Yeah. His ears must have been burning. <laughs> you know what I did? What? I'm doing exactly what you told me to. You are. Middle Perfect. out. Middle, Middle out. out. Yeah, I am. I have a lot of prep to do to go to Smurf, but I have every intention of going. I just hope I don't. Um, you get your passport? No, that's the problem. I don't have a passport yet. I I, to... You know what? It surprises me how many people haven't uh, ever, ever been out of the country. And... I've never been out of the country. Yeah. Yeah. Gloop, three, Andrew from 3D Gloop's never been out of the country either. And yeah. he's got no problem with it. He doesn't ever want to leave the country. So now I'd take the Vec or the um, Fabrico driver yep. and do a, 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 a snog a, a, a good dug right. or two. Okay. Uh, and I'll take, because you're done with these now. Yep, there you go. So you only these. did one set? Yeah, yeah, I just did pairs. <laughs> Lightly. Bias to one side. Passport either. Yeah. Can I can I remove my little pluggies now? You can. It's all safe. I'm gonna do that over here too. I feel like this guy isn't as smooth as I would like. Let's see. So there's something I've noticed on some. This one think? too. Does that feel? No, these are these, these are fine. Are Maybe I'm just being a little. They're they're, they're made. One. You feel that resistance? Now is that lining up with the? The holes? Is it lining up with the holes? The the the, the resistance you're feeling is it does it line up with the holes? Maybe. Because what I found on the last one I built is the wipers, the little seals yeah, on it, yeah. are bumping on the the holes there. I okay. noticed that on the last one I built. Okay. Is that where it is? It's hard to tell because it's really slight. Maybe. Not bad. Okay. I mean, we're not dealing with high wind stuff here. No. It's good coffee. How are you doing on time? You're good. Doing good. Yeah, it's twelve thirty. Yeah. It's a great time. Great time to be alive. 
Every time. It's a great time to be alive. Uh -huh. um, what's next? Let's see. So, upside down assembly. Where's my... There we are. We, we did this. Your rails. We didn't have to do all these T-nuts because... Because we did. T-nut bars. Yeah. T-nut bars, baby. That. So what what do you suppose made it? Just because... It, well, certainly it's more critical for where you're putting um, linear rail. Right? Because mm -hmm. the precision of that alignment and how, how hard that is to do blind. Yeah. But well, there's really no reason they couldn't develop those bars for, like, the positioning on all these other things as well, huh? You could. Yeah. Yeah. Just overkill of manufacturing that and cost i guess okay we're going to start putting together the yeah we can do this without we can do most of this without that part oh thank you babe i got coffee delivered coffee del i got coffee delivered too everybody's getting coffee <laughs> delivered let me check the this guy that is pretty much Ready to go. It's heated up enough for the, the small part. Now, is this is this mainsail? This is, is this? mainsail. This is mainsail. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm still a noob to, yeah. to the, a lot the of clipper the stuff. clipper interfaces. Mm -hmm. I, maple what's the other pop? Let's say the popular one that. Fluid. Fluid. And, and the, those people fight? The fluid people and the mainsail people? No. It's just two alternatives. Hmm. I had quite a bit of trouble with those teen-up bars. I had to remove them on the y-axis. They caused a lot of binding as they had a slight twist to them. Huh. Interesting. These slid right in. No, they did. We they did. They went right trouble. in there, man. Right in there. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Um, let me get those, that print going. I'm going to I'm gonna have to go make sure the nozzle's clean and start the tramming process, and then we can get it moving. Okay. Um, in the meantime, what you can do yeah. is get the the steppers. Yeah, we can get the Z steppers. Got them here. Most of it is accessibility of parts. Look at this dude with the black. Yeah. The black lead screws. Yeah. Let's go here. We've got so those. We can get those three. I tried to excuse this chin nut bars I got off of AliExpress. Oh neat. They went in well, but once again sure was fully assembled, it would bind up towards the back of the machine. I tried rebuilding it several times, but removing the nut bars was the only fix. Interesting. We'll keep an eye out on that, I guess. Infects peppers. But he said he got them on AliExpress. So no, no, there's the... two different people. Oh, okay. Another person got some off AliExpress. What are these guys? Those are little tags to mark. Oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. The... I see it now. Yeah. That's for good. The steppers. They gotta have that pro electronic if I want to get that serial number. <laughs> yes. So these are the stepper mounts. These can bolt to the top of the. So I'm gonna uh, keep this in here for now. These can bolt to the top of the steppers, but we want to pay attention to, we want to pay attention to the um, LDO docks here. So I think they have a, if we go to the wiring guide, the 300 wiring guide, mm -hmm. they are going to have some recommendations for what direction I think to mount these, I'm suspecting. So I'm just kind of scrolling through here, looking for the specific I think we're going, you see the, you see the, to the inside on the front, yep. pointing towards the middle on the front, and port, point, pointing all, towards... All towards, yep. all roads go toward the middle. Yep. Yep. All roads go towards the middle. So if you want to put these um, mounts on, and you're upside down now, so remember, that's going to go to one of these front corners. I'm inverted. Yep. Mm -hmm. Where is the other? So let's see. The, they're I'm upside down, so that means this is going as this such. is going to go here. Uh, that one's going to go there. Mm -hmm. Got it. So then, if you screw these on with the M3 by 12s, I see. I see. It. So that's going to go on right like that. Perfect. Okay, I'm on it. And I'm gonna go get this print going. All right. And I'll be right back. Get after it. This is awesome. I can leave the camera and not have to. Well, what not would, have you, to what put would you do? Yeah. 
we'd, we'd have Dancing Max watch them. Oh, that's right. There's yeah. Dancing Max. Uh, instead, yeah. they can just watch Pooch fumble around. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. We're right back. All right. Have fun. I'll be here working, working hard. And the fit and finish on this thing. Cause I'm loving this part. This glass fill. Oh, I swear I'm not just saying it. It's got this great, got this great look. Just feels quality. I'm surprised we haven't seen more glass fill stuff, especially how how commonly it's used in like the automotive industry and industrial stuff. I don't know if it's just particularly gnarly to extrude or probably some reason. You know what? Should have lined up my front. I'm not, I'm not making it easy on myself, am I? See how close I got. Not close at all there. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna back those out of touch. I'm gonna slide this that way. We're gonna line these up. Bingo, bango. There we go. There we go. Coming back. Ah. Uh. The, uh, the glass fill is from uh, Fetus. Fetus and uh, Hector over at Fabrico sent it to Steve, who printed all the parts, except for the brackets that he is going to print now that he forgot. Um, it's a glass filled ASA, and it is lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. That's all I have to say about that. Well, maybe not all. Probably say it like 20 more times between the rest of the build series, but it really is good. It feels super robust, and I just like the the coloring and the, the way the, the fiber kind of breaks up the way light hits it, so it kind of looks a little more mattish. Another boy Charlie doing there. Oh, he's doing fine. He just doesn't know what's going on because I'm in the wrong spot. It's highly out of the ordinary, he mm -hmm. says. He's a, he's a creature of habit, that one, huh? So what do we got? 15 minutes to give away and we hit 300 likes. The streak is alive. The streak is still alive. I'll just go okay, this was ex inexpensive. Yeah, this is really well-priced filament. What was it? I want to say I think it was like, less than 30 bucks. I want to say it was 35. You think it was less? right around 30? I don't know. Somebody looked that up. For glass for, fiber. For what it is, I was surprised at that price point as well. Mm -hmm. Now that said, do they have they have local distribution? Because they where was where's Fabrico sending it from? Um, well, I got it from from Fabrico. I know Fabrico and DFH are carrying it. I don't know who else. So if I'm missing anybody, feel free to mention it in chat. Um, I've just been lollygagging, going really slow. Uh oh, did I, I didn't spill? No, you didn't did lose I, anything. I Need a. Someone's asking, can you buy Voron merch somewhere? Is it all from fan made? Right now, it's mostly distributor or, or reseller and fan made. Um, there's there no, is, there's no there official is, merch? There is, but it's not, it, it hasn't been updated in a long time. You gotta realize, the Voron team is totally um, volunteer and um, no, there's no official, like, there's not a person that de deals with merch, you know? It's just whatever people feel like doing or working on. Somebody's gotta own and it. No, nobody's owned it, yeah. That's a good, that's a good point, a good way to put it. Nobody's owned it yet. Are you somewhere else, Steve, or do you just have the cam set up differently? Only asking because Pooch needs to wear the hat. Needs what, to wear the hat. Which hat? hat? hat. I don't know what. I, oh, the hat. <laughs> do you want to wear a hat? Uh, you okay wearing a hat? Mess up my hair for my date later. Yeah. Uh, this might not mess up. No, oh, let me see the hat. I'll, I'll bring it. I'll bring it in when I go back. Okay. Because uh, I'm gonna have to go get the get the actual print started. All right. I'll, <laughs> I'll see what this hat is. 
You know, I'm very serious about my hair though. <laughs> you can probably lightly wear it and it'll be fine. Okay. So what'd you think when you saw the thumbnail for this? I loved it. I loved everything about it. So I'd sent, he, Steve asked me, he goes, hey, we need, I need something for a th thumbnail, send me a picture. I'm like, what do you want, like a headshot? I don't have anything. And he goes, I don't know, I'll just put, you know, send me a photo of you and I'll send it back. And I'm like, I don't know what's photo. Of it. And then I remembered I had, I had, uh, I have a green screen that we use for our stream. Um, and I was being goofy and took some photos that I sent to my friend Amy for uh, the Seattle Prusa user meetup. Because mm -hmm. um, we were talking about like photoshopping me and since I couldn't go to that Seattle event, I was at the San Francisco one. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's where that originated from. And so I sent you the green screen thing thinking, here, you can just pull the green screen out and you can plop me on there. I'm just pointing. And, and then I love that you mimicked it. <laughs> Perfect. So, you so point I'm trying right to figure out what I'm going to do. And that oh. was the easiest picture. Oh, it was so, it. so I throw that into my program and I and I grab a stock photo from LDO on, for their kit. And I'm thinking, you know what this needs? It's something on the left on side. The other side. And it's so <laughs> I went and said, April, my wife, do I have a gray hat somewhere? Or do I have a hat? Actually, I didn't say gray hat. I said, do I have a hat? And she pulls out a gray hat. Perfect. I'm like, okay, so then I go and grab her running sunglasses. Mm. I did like the mirror sunglasses, yeah. <laughs> the, afterwards, I thought it would have been cooler if I could have angled myself so where, Char where Charlie was sleeping would it be. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't have Charlie. But the, yeah, yeah. That took all of about five minutes. It was perfect. Well, let's, Best say, let's say it was 10 minutes, 15 minutes total to do. 10 minutes of it was trying to get a good picture. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's how it goes sometimes. All right, uh, last Z mount. And John, yeah, uh, Pooch is going to open soft. So am I. Uh, Voron will have a exhibitor booth at Open Sauce. Yep, and you can find me in the Gloop booth, helping out with the uh, spectacle there. Yeah. Which is going to be amazing. Can't say anything more than that it's just done. right now. This is done, so I'm going to. If you guys haven't looked up Open Sauce, check it out. Uh, it's big, big YouTuber party basically in San The Francisco. list of 39. people is nuts. It's absolutely bonkers. I know, uh, and a, a lot of internationals too. Yeah. Stefan's going to be there. And Angus. Angus is going to be there. Um, tons of, tons of big, big YouTubers. Um, Joel, 3D, yep. let me think, who else 3D printing wise? Gloop, um, who else, who else? Oh, uh, well, I don't know if I call them 3D printing, but like, um. Evan and Caitlin are going to be there. Yeah. Um, you know, on the maker, there's the maker definitely side. the maker side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, um, James Fruden. Yes. He's, he's going to be there. Yes. Hmm? That's right. He's on the panel with Stefan and uh, Joel. And who's the fourth? Who's the fourth on that? Uh, Angus, right? Yeah. I'm still going to Murph, right? I have that Make magazine with the red and blue V0 on the cover. I want the Voron team that's at Murph to sign it. I will be there. I am, I've, I've got everything set to be at Murph. Flight, hotel. I did not have hotel problems because I didn't pick the quality in. No, so, you gotta go to the, the, the Hampton is the place to I'm stay. I'm at uh, Fairfield. Okay. It is. T minus 10 minutes. You're Everybody's right. Excited. We got 10 minutes for giveaways. So giveaways. So the giveaway, the the gift card giveaways for um, for repcord.com, anybody can win those. Anybody. And that's why we decided to do gift cards. So we don't have to worry about shipping. Yeah, well, I mean, and you have a European warehouse for some things. For rep boxes for specifically, we do, yes. Mm -hmm. And we can ship internationally, but there is there is yeah. shipping costs. Yes. But, but that yeah, just... that's on you. Yep. Figure out what you want to do. I like, I like the idea. I'm not always going to be able to do it, I'm sure. But I like the idea of keeping my giveaways international, especially because of my time slot. So, yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. And it's never fun to... Um, 
feel like, you know, you get the FOMO to feel like you're being left out. Yeah. Okay, uh, there. You're doing that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a moment to go get the hat Which um, before we start the giveaway. M3 by 12s, and they're right here. Thank you. What else do we have? No. What are, what do we got? Your these will work. That'll work. Thank y'all. Sometimes it's a little easier to get to the ones that are a little closer on the on the inside with that ball end anyway. Hi, hey, Holly. How are you? Did I miss anything? Any um you missed all of this. You missed all of this. Oh, no, no. Oh, you're talking yep. about the... Uh, yep, just just checking. Making... Somebody in the chat was asking if they missed. Nope. Yeah, I think a lot of this. Our lighting is looking pretty decent. We got some sunlight from the windows. Good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's good. You did a really good job with the setup, man. Thank you. You should be proud. It is, it is off camera, it is a mess, especially over over here. You know, let, let me tell you something, guys. As far as messes go, he's being <laughs> modest. It's not, this is this is what I would expect of a active workshop. And um, it is not even close to the worst I've ever seen. So, so there's that. Maple Leaf Makers, you guys are making pretty good time. How many strings is this planned for? Unknown. We're gonna yeah. stream today and tomorrow. Probably four-ish hours. Yeah. It's probably a good time. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think we are making really good time. So I have no concept of it. So you've yeah. built a bunch of these and you say like, okay, well, we're like, uh, you know, 15% or 10% of the way or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, what, I mean, what percentage There's... would you, you say we are right oh, now? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, if you have no idea, I have no idea. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Anybody that's built one of these before, what, what, how far? How, are how, what quite? percent are we at? That's a good. That's a good question. Let's get some engagement. Yeah, engage, <laughs> engage. What are you using those M5 roll-ins on the sides for? Um, roll-ins on the sides. Which sides? Here? Are these for the panels? No, they're. He's absolutely right. We got the. We got the. Did we, we got two of these it? backwards. Oh no, these these are supposed to go on this side. <laughs> yep. And they roll out. Hold on. Uh, see if they can roll I'm gonna out. try to roll them out. Let me see if I can get them to roll out. <laughs> Shazbot. <laughs> we spent so much effort. I think we can get them to roll out. Let me go grab a smaller screwdriver. I'll be right back. I got that one out. Yep. Oh, they're popping. They're popping. Four for four on this side. Ah. See, it would have would have been impossible to not have something go wrong. Pop, come on, popped, popped out. Question is, will we be able to roll them in? Yeah, we're good. Huh. Okay, well, they all came out. The question is, will they all roll in again on the other side? I'm sure they will. That was a good catch, whoever had it. Yeah, that was a great catch, because I've been standing here and didn't notice it. The whole time, where well, your job is to roll them back in. I was panicked for a second. I was like, I guess I better stop mounting these. <laughs> Nothing else is different there. That would have been a real bear to have to take those extrusions off. I guess not, but I wouldn't have been happy about it. Yep. Now, the, well, here, here's another question. When the old drill and tap comes out. We may not even need those because oh, this no? is a 300 build. So we talked about differences between a um, LDO kit from the from the spec kit. Okay. 
Um, so I don't even know what they're for. I was assuming something to do with the electronics tray, the base tray at the bottom. They are. But uh, the spec setup has some brackets that screw into these. It's it's um, it's these brackets. Yeah. These go in here and they hold some din din rail. Din rail, yeah. Um, but I think the the LDO setup does something different. I'm not sure. So let's let's check before we go too far on this because we may actually want them in a different orientation. Well, let me finish. You can keep doing that. I'm, I'm going to bring up the my Z. Maurice, we did remember Z. the the um, rails for the front two legs. Um, sort of. Halfway remembered. We got reminded before it was too late. The Which one? These, These ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. T minus four minutes, you're right. It hasn't been three more minutes. perfect, but we've been doing okay. I you think know, we've you know what, this is all the same stuff that um, I screw up when I'm doing my own build. Yeah. Um, see, here's, they go forward to back instead of side to side. On a 250 build, they go side to side. On this build, they go forward to back, so we just need to move those. Oh, to, so they don't even go there yeah. anyway. Yeah. Well, we are not doing inverted electronics. We're doing a mostly spec build. Yeah, they go front to back, and then this is the this is the LDO docs page that we've been referring to for stepper locations and stuff like that. M3 on one corner, M5 on the other. Yep, we did that. Um, let's go here. Yeah, such a satisfying build. Okay, so do we want to do roll those in now? For the no. backs? No. We'll, we'll use this. We got two minutes to a giveaway. Okay, I'm gonna use the restroom while we're, we're waiting and you can entertain. What what, what happened to the hat? Hmm. Mm. When you it's come taco back. taco hat. It's taco <laughs> time. Yes. I love it. We got a hot mic. Oh yeah, you'll well, have to hold turn, on. turn that off. I don't think everybody <laughs> wants to hear me pee. Is it off? Um, the light will be off. The light's off. You're good. <laughs> uh, it's kind of bummed that the LDO page didn't get better updated for V0. <laughs> awesome job on the garage shop. Thank you, Dum Dum. Dev. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pleased with how it turned out. Um, I was a little worried. I was worried about lighting. Um, I was worried about getting camera angles. Uh, while we're waiting for Pooch to get back, I'll show you. Uh, I mean, I showed earlier on stream, but this is this is what we did um, to get the overhead cam. And I know that's blown out. Maybe I can go here. <laughs> and then it's it's to a cross brace up there with another light. <laughs> so. Yeah, it, it, it worked out. I need to figure if I'm going to stream in here more often, I'm going to think have to think of a better solution. But this worked. This is 20 by 20. The other shop that I normally stream from is about 10 by 17. So. The lighting and angles look good, awesome. Better a taco hat than a taco bed, this is true. Visiting kids, grandkids, no coffee here. I don't know how you use CNC with carpet. I don't have carpet. This is um, epoxy floors. I was disappointed with LDO using a different color orange for the V02 upgrade kit. Hmm. Yeah, I have enough clamps. This is true. Yeah, this is the this is what I quote the dirty shop, the the make a mess shop, the table saw, the the drill press stuff like that is over here. Oh, you're talking about the, tri the the orange frames. Yeah, the orange is nice. Need a monitor arm to mount a camera and light too. Guess who's back? You want to grab the hat back, while we give away? Back again. They, they want to see you wearing the hat. All right. Yeah, this is this is epoxy floor in here. Really nice too. It's the good, the good, good thick epoxy. There we go. The pro. <laughs> Now, do you do it uh, this way, or is it like more I, like I did the, it that uh, way, but the, whatever's more comfortable the, for you. The Admiral. 
Okay, so we are going to do giveaways. Feels like front um, to back. Pooch hasn't better. seen the next part of this giveaway. No. But we'll, we'll, we'll see what the reaction is. Um, so we are giving away a roll, the normal every stream polymaker filament giveaway. Um, and then also Repcord has um, donated gift cards. Yeah. Um, $25, $50, and $100. Um, so links are in the description. You have a moment to uh, get signed up if you haven't yet. Yeah, go for it. I can't believe um, it. Just gotta have my little yeah. Poochie power pellets. Somebody. Yeah. <laughs> so in the description are links um, to the giveaways. Let me bring up the things and make sure we've had a bunch of entries on each. Yep, we've got all the entries on each. So we're going to do the Polymaker one first. So the way I do this, because I'm super, I want everybody to have a chance. Mm -hmm. I do a countdown to three. If I haven't had a new response on this in three seconds, ah. then I close it. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to start counting down and we are at after one o'clock. So three. I'm just going to temporarily move this so yep. I can see. Oh, perfect. We can even just go here. <laughs> so now we're going to count down three two oh there's one so three two oh there's one three <laughs> two there's people just one. like oh there's people another one messing with you probably <laughs> they might be and so we got a new one so three two one and done okay. oh so you still have some time to get in on the rep cord one because i'm not going to close it until we're about ready to draw so let me get this exported no, I'm going Admiral Taco style. Perfect. Or like the Napoleon. It is messing Napoleonic up Napoleonic though, huh? Taco. I'll be you fine. can fix it. We have the technology. Yeah. We can rebuild it. You can even print one. I would love to. Actually, who did that? Somebody did that recently. They printed like the anime hair. Did you see that? I think I remember seeing something like that. It was pretty <laughs> rad looking. It was like all super plasticky and... Yeah. Unless it was it was CG, I don't know, but it looked like printed hair. Okay, so who hair. was the last person that got in? Blake Sullivan was the very last. Why? Oh, my! Somebody, my, somebody I don't... get a screen grab of this uh, of Steve and I. Well, you, I feel like you need a hat. I'm good. Well, why do I have to look like the jacket? Okay, you 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 ready to see this? Um, this. So I use Wheel of Names. Yeah. Um, usually I have a Charlie on the background. Mm. Uh, and you know, you sent me a bunch of pictures to use for the thumbnail. Oh, so. Okay. Oh, good. So I get to be <laughs> on the wheel instead of Charlie. <laughs> you spin me right round, baby, right round. Okay, so now the normal thing is to have the audience pick a number between two numbers um, for the number of times I've shuffled. What, what's the two numbers we want to pick between? 42. Between 42 and 69. Holy moly. 42 and 69. It's been told. <laughs> 42 and 69. I'm going to send you another hat for guests. <laughs> yeah, guess that. Fair button up shirt and shorts already makes you look silly. Yeah. Okay, what do we got? 42 and 69. Yeah, they're, they're criticizing what, my wardrobe are you seeing, now? Are you seeing our, our, our guests here? Because yeah. you get to pick the number. Wait, I have to pick the number that's in between 42 well, and 69? Well, you pick from what people are suggesting. Uh, let's, let's go with uh, 42. 42? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do it. Because I've got a fast computer, yeah. and it actually registers quickly. Okay, let's so do it. So let's do it. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Halfway there. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Here, 42. There, there we go. It is. 42. Are we ready? Yep. Okay, so this is for the Polymaker filament. 
Let me just double check, make sure. Any specific kind of filament, just a, just a kilo? So what happens is if you're in the US and Canada, you get a coupon to the us.polymaker.com store. Mm. And um, the, there's two coupons actually. You get one that's $35 off your order and then one that gives you free shipping. Oh, perfect. Um, and then if you're outside the US and Canada, then there's a form you can fill out where there's a list of filaments you can pick from to get sent to you. Very cool. So. All right, let's go ahead and spin. You spin. You Try to stare at an eye. eye. I, it, what? Did, I look like <laughs> triangular when that happened. Did you see that? That yeah. was weird. <laughs> like a record, baby. Right, round, round, round. Who do we got? Who is our uh, lucky no winner? winner is... Uh, Lucas. 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 You have you two win. minutes. You have two minutes, two minutes to, to say something in chat. Make yourself known. Lucas. Lucas. Rice. 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 Congratulations, Lucas. Are you here? Lucas, where are you? What you have to do is say something in chat. Someone will see it. I'll see it. Yep. And this is this by their handle. Minute? How do you, so how do this you is what this should there? be because I ask for the YouTube name. You better put your YouTube name yep. on. Yep. Is Lucas here? There they are. There. Nice. Congratulations, Lucas. Thanks for being here. Here in all caps. Oops. Okay. Now so now, how did now, he contact now I contact you to get his hoodies? Well, I email. Oh, I, because I, it's because, in the because it's the email the, was sent the, to me. Yeah, yeah, it's in the thing. Yeah. Perfect. Burn it. I uh, 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 just need to make sure I, because I didn't actually, R, what was that? Lucas, R-I-E-S. There we go. I just make sure that I've got what looks like a good email address for them, and I do. Yeah. But we are awesome. Okay. Congratulations, Lucas. You will get an email from me sometime with the next day or two or three depending on how on top of it you're feeling exactly perfect exactly depending on how scatterbrained i end up being uh will pooch record a mixtape for winners <laughs> yes absolutely that's uh, that's what everybody wants okay so now we're gonna do the giveaway for the repcord gift cards so the link is in the description you have about three ish very generous seconds um to get entered because we're gonna close it in three two two, two and a half that's it yeah close it we're good shut it down Give all of shut the shut it down <laughs> okay so now i export this okay two and we are going to draw three names. We'll remove the name after it's drawn and, and proven that you're in. Mm. Um, and the first one will be the 25, second one will be the 50, and the third one will be 100. Yeah. Okay. Come over here and delete all of these and paste the new ones and make sure that Win Farms is the last name on the list. Just to make sure I got the same one. Is it? Yep. Win Farms is. Okay, so what's the next range of numbers? It's uh, 17 and to um, 27. 17 to 27. What number are we, are we shuffling? 17 to 27. 13. <laughs> Out of bounds. <laughs> NAN. Well, we get 42 and 69 as every did. suggestion, no matter what the range is. No, no. So. No. <laughs> 17 and 25. Uh, 20. I'm seeing a lot of, seeing a lot of 21s. I'm seeing a lot of 21. So 21. Okay. Which is half. So this is for the $25 repcord.com gift card. All right. Third price. Hmm? Well, I don't know. Because it goes 25, 50, 100. Correct. So the third prize, second, second prize, first, first prize. grand prize, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 
Nicely done. First one. And spin me right round, baby, right round. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have to turn right the AC back on. Right. Are you getting hot? Okay. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. A little bit. So, who we got for $25 Repcord.com gift card? Earl Haas. Oh, Earl Haas. Earl Haas. Are you here? You have won a Let $25. It be known. Earl Haas, congratulations. Let me turn on the AC. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for Earl Haas. For Earl Haas. Congratulations. Are you here? You have about a minute and 40 seconds to Congrats make yourself that. known. Earl. Earl, Earl. Earl Hoffs. How many people do we have right now? Mm, Over 300. Three That's awesome. Three people know. They're, They're here. here. There you are. Awesome. There he is. Congratulations. I'm going All to right. copy this and here. 25. Taste mm. that. Get them electrolytes. And we have a good email address. Okay. So now I'm going to remove this name. And we're going to shuffle between one and five. I'm going to shuffle between one and five. Let's spike my engagement meter. Mm. We're going to have four spikes on this thing. Okay. I'm ready. Congratulations, Rahat. You will get an email from you. Do I send you the emails or do you want to give me some language to send them? No, you can send them to me. I'll okay. take them. I'm going to give Pooch your email and he will contact you. So let's go. Let's go four. We're going to make these quick. Get back to the build. One, two, three, four. This is a $50 repcord.com gift card. $50 repcord.com oh. gift card. You spin me right round. Who do we have? Oops. Almost there. <laughs> Jerklamo. Oh, people, people don't like vowels. <laughs> J-R-K-L-M-O. Congratulations. You have two minutes to say something in chat. Jerklamo. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Are you here? Congratulations, J-R-K-L-M-O. Hey, Eddie. Welcome. Eddie, hey, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Jerk limo. Jerk limo? It's gotta be something. What's What else can J-R-K be? Jer I don't like jerk. Jer maybe they like jerk. But well, maybe they're a Steve Martin fan. Yeah. Not taggable. Well, they have a minute and 20 seconds to say sure something. Hey, awesome. You did win. There they are. Congratulations. Oh. Oh, oh hi there. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Eddie says it was the perfect time to jump in and see the taco. <laughs> taco, taco. Congratulations, JRKLMO. Mm. You are going to get an email from Pooch. 50 bucks. 50. Paste this in. Make sure we got a good. That is correct. And now we will remove and let's do, let's do a number. Let's do a low number. Seven. What's, well, let's do a low number. Eight. I got to get another spike in my engagement. Four. <laughs> What's a low number? It's a, the most negative, appealing low number. Negative six. <laughs> I. I. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna shuffle I. Good job. <laughs> you wore that longer than I did. It, it goes on the Serpinski triangle. <laughs> It puts the hat on the serpent. So, so we had I. So what is I in the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I? Nine. Nine? That works. Niner? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here we go. This is for the $100 gift card to repcord.com. Hundo. And thank you. This is fun. Yeah, man. This is super fun. So like in the same same area as Jerk Lamo. See? Right in there. But we shuffled it. Block so Lana, yeah. That's right. We did do it. Block Lanner? Did the shuffle up, I guess. Block Lanner. Are you here? Let's see. Two minutes. <laughs> infinity. We got a lot of infinity. Mm -hmm. no, not a number. Good. I like that one. <laughs> there you are. It's Congratulations. Okay. You're here. All right. You, $100 you three gift will get yours. email. You three will get an email. Watch for um, that. Like he said, in the next couple days yeah. after the weekend. I'm recording everything here on my spreadsheet for posterity. And we are good on the email. Awesome. So we are back at it. So congratulations, folks. Congratulations to the winners. Let's get back to it. Is it more uh, rail time, maybe? Well, let's see. I would have thought it would have been better to put on, or easier to put the linear rail on before the Z. Oh, it would have been. Why didn't we do that? I don't know, because I thought we were following the directions. It didn't uh, tell us to do that? Where, did we miss that? That's interesting. Did it tell us to do that at some point and we didn't do it? Dopey Lee, thanks for the gifted memberships. He's going to have a sleepover. <laughs> no. No, no sleepover. Um, it's close enough where it's not that bad of a drive. Oh. That's the Y. Did we miss the the Z way back here? I think we did. Way back in the instructions. Yeah, I was I think wondering we why it. we... Could, I would have thought we would just do all the rails at the same time, right? I don't see them. Are, is there something missing in the in the manual? Like, these won't be a big deal, but this... I mean, it's, again, with a ball driver, you can get to it, but... That's pretty weird. Very strange. I know, I know watching me stroll is very riveting. But... Very strange. No, I don't think we missed it, dude. I think it's... Uh... Is, it, is it missing? Does any, can anybody... Can we See the security experiments? Wife is asking where Charlie is. He's been around. He's had some pretty good camera cut, camera time, Sean. He's about. He's out and about. He's, in the boot. I'm probably going to have to go get him here in a minute. He's on the hunt. Unpin reminder. Thank you. Let's see. Yeah, folks. Keep me on track. Yeah. I am puzzled. Did we miss... Because we're now on to linear rails. We got Y. Those are the instructions for Y. And then we're on to here. And there's nothing in the photo. So but the there's definitely... The, I can't tell. Am I, am, yeah, I the, the, am I seeing the rail or am I seeing the... No, you're seeing the actual piece. Do this. They just magically that. appear. Oh, here they are. This is where we do it. I, I told you to do these ahead of the man. Oh, uh, okay. All right. It's my fault. All right. So yeah. putting the... The fronts aren't going to be in the way. No. The rear will probably have to remove the stepper. Eh. It's fine. Yeah. Let's see what how we are... 73% done on the on the print. Boy, that's fast. Not too far. It's not really... They're not that big of a... It's been about 30 minutes. Are they overlapping each other? No, they're just really close. Huh. It's just the angled view. The angle of the dangle. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing. There's no missteps. I, I, I told Pooch to install the steppers while I was away get, looking for something to do. Um, I followed instructions. And, yep. But they were ahead. They were ahead in the... Both the okay. rail and the driver highlighted in that picture. Yeah, yeah. no big deal. Nope, I just had this. Oh, there we go. And then let's go ahead and just um, flip this around and put it on its front, and we'll do the okay the Z drives here. 
right, I'm assuming that's what is this. Uh, that's supposed to be next, right? We do the, yeah. the so rails here, or that's a work. So here is a rail for you. Here is a rail for me, and we will do the same orientations. Uh, now, where are we aligning to? Um, so we're going to put it on the rail loose, and then we'll move it in to where it's about a millimeter above the printed part. And Got we'll it. find something, maybe the ruler or something to act as a spade, or the, the little, um, this guy. We can use this guy to act as a spacer. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, all right, so we're just loosen, and then you'll give me the little alignment, guys. Oh, do I have them over here? No, nope, that's the MGM 12s. Where's the, where's the alignment guys for the You MGM had a line. Nine. Put them back in the box. Oh, yep. And then you have that, so I will grab Yes. Top layers, top layers. There are no missteps, only happy reorderings. <laughs> yes, that sounds right. Because just to check my mail ending dot net or dot de net is the right ending. Lucas. Lucas's did end in dot net. I remember. Did it? Okay. I vividly remember. I was gonna net. make a, I was gonna make a joke about it being a prodigy email <laughs> account. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. I think I've totally confused Charlie on on this whole. I was like, wait, are we moving? What's going on? <laughs> well, my concern in the back of my head is my his litter box is in here. Uh, yeah. He's not in here. No. He does have the tray that's underneath his litter box that he will he will default to if he can, mm. which is better than anywhere else. But sure. <laughs> See you, Bill. I mean, let's hope you'd be doing as well if you had a kidney stone the size of a stack or a bladder stone the size of a stack of quarters. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. Not great. No. Okay, you so said we got a spacer? Yeah, All right, we so can... I got the sides, I've got this, and then I'm going to bias one way. All we need is something to consistently from... space it. Okay. I don't know if that's, that's... fine. Yeah, why not? You want to put it in from that side. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. We've got that. I've got that. Oops. I, I just bumped it right out of the way. I didn't expect it to move that easy. Here. Here. And I'm biasing this way. And I'm starting in the middle of the out. Hmm. Is John out of here too or Nathan? Nathan's out. See you, Nathan. Bye, Nathan. Oh, yeah. Good. Did we get any estimates on how long, how far people think we are in here? I, you know, I didn't look. Somebody, somebody must have predicted, and we weren't checking the. Uh, which way did you bias it? I biased it toward the middle of the toward printer. The middle. Okay. We're 69%. Nice. That's the... Of course we are. Of course. <laughs> nice. 
Oh, no, 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 no. No. What happened? I didn't, I didn't space it off the bottom. Didn't you, didn't you design this thing, man? Come on. You should know better. The reality is, is that it doesn't matter. It makes it easier if you ever have to remove the, um, the bottom screw. Yeah. Yeah. Or the mount. The mount. The mount. If you ever have to remove the... Well, in which, in which case... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's enough for you, yeah. Figure maybe we go another couple steps or... Yeah. 20 minutes or so. Yeah. Call it a four-hour stream? Sure. A four-hour stream. You know what we can probably do, because I expect that part to be done within five or ten minutes hmm. we can get this get that on finalized and call, get the, call that a break point yeah get the rear rail on sure okay i'll oh, grab that driver just there so you go yeah do a couple of ugga duggas guys feeling good The um, colors are great. They really are, man. I'm really digging it. The the black is, um, and I don't know if it's the sheen coming off the it's... glass. It, it it's it's got this really cool like. I don't know. It's a dark like it, it looks like a dark gray from here, but then if I come down here, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's got more of a black. So it's just got that. Yeah. That need to definitely the texture it's not a jet black texture throws the color different yeah what's next we can do, do the, the rear, do rear one rear. yeah why not there's no reason not to is it does it not say to do that next to no the we can't it's just that we haven't attached the top but it doesn't matter that that rail can go there just got my spacer there you go you get to choose which direction that goes since it's in the middle going goes left perfect Text to the left just commit, you know? Yep. Be decisive. That's what I do. I'm decisive. If nothing else, almost reckless in my decisiveness. Uh, you took both of the drivers, didn't you? Oh, I guess. <sighs> See you, Alex. Bye, Have Alex. A Have a good night. Good crowd, man. You got a good crowd. It is. It's awesome. Yeah. It's incredible. We're at 98% on that part. Wait. How are we doing on likes? Let's squeak a couple more likes in before we the end of the show. We didn't see how many we it had. Wasn't a, I don't think it was a record, but we oh, broke no. the streak. We're in the 300s. Yeah. What are we at, guys? What are we at likes with? What are we at? <laughs> let the buffer catch up yeah 344 oh, solid i'll get this cool with it but doug is going to sue over misappropriation of his name <laughs> teach me how to dug a <laughs> yeah, cool. you're not tightening it right no 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 it's just the, the whole thing should be able to slide still yep awesome. Oh, am I at 9,000 subscribers? Come on, did I, did I tighten one? Trevor oh. says, right now our builds are essentially at the exact same spot. Awesome. Our record is 420 likes at the giveaway point, right, Danny? We'll, oh, we'll, we'll aim for that tomorrow, because tomorrow I would expect we get a little, gonna be a bigger, are we gonna get slightly bigger audience, better just because it's a normal, oh, yeah? a normal time. Oh, that's a normal time, okay. Yeah. Will you build the whole printer in this one single stream? No, we we won't be. That, that would be um, that'd be something. That'd be a man. long that'd be a long stream. I mean, somebody's probably done it, huh? I don't know about this particular printer, but that's a well, long. We've done, that'd be a long. We did a V zero. In one, Taylor has in done one a V zero in one go. I've done a V zero. I almost. But did it wasn't his wire. Wasn't his first one though. You, you, well, none of these are our first ones. Right. That's what Taylor. I'm saying. See, it's like yeah. nobody's nobody's <laughs> going in blind, right? So. Can you see how many dislikes this stream has? Not, well, maybe if I look. Who's disliking the stream? There's, there's always somebody. Somebody's got to be a jerk about there's it. There's always somebody, but it, it, it doesn't YouTube just figure whatever, it's engagement. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, and again. Oh, our record overall is 420. Okay, thanks, Danny. Holy cow, I thought I would be watching a replay. Replay? Oh, Dr. Dave's workshop is um, Dr. Dave on the Voron Discord. He's part of the Voron crew. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing here with the spacer. Let's space this about the same off. The I just did that. Yep, you're right. You're good. Let's see. Why is this? Uh, hmm? What? I don't know. This is just feeling snugger than it. Than it did on these other ones. That is interesting. Is this is this rail? It's okay, as long as it's the same. Yeah, I, I'm not I, imagining that, yeah. am I? No, you're not. That's weird. Thicker in is it in I have no idea. Well, it's centered. Yep. So I guess I'll do my slight bias this way. Any suggestions for things to add to cart alongside a death size rep rack, rep rack starter kit? Any suggestions for things to add to a cart alongside a desk size rep rack starter kit? Uh, the, the desktop size, um, I have no idea what, what else you need. Uh, another, another desktop rack rack? What is it? Was he one of the winners? So is he shopping with his, Matt uh, Lamb, no. Matt Lamb. Oh, okay, okay. It, it appears to be So we got, some, we got like $10 filament spools we're trying to close out. If you want like some, just some basic PLA and whatever colors we got, we got some interesting camo colors. Yeah, someone, Pez Liz, suggested the fun filament colors. There you go, Pez Liz knows what's up. Andres, yeah, the, fill, the giveaway closed at um, about the three hour mark. I'm going to delete the links from the description. One, two. I did not. Three. But, however, the the um, giveaway closed, but there is a Repcord 10% off coupon. Yeah, and that, I'll leave that up until we're done with the build. So at least for the, I would imagine for the end of the month. Okay. I, I don't, I don't know how far along we're going to get this weekend, but right, we will see. Yep. And Pezlis wants to take a look at my rack shirt. Uh, check out my rack. That, that's not a bad idea for <laughs> some swag. Um, those rail guides should be, it's better to be snug than loosely fitting Pex Peppers. If they are loosely fitting, then what we've been doing is just kind of bias both sides of the rail to one side. Just make sure that when you're tightening it down, you just kind of, not a lot of pressure, like next to no pressure. Just make sure that it's to, to one side. If they're not snug. The Uga Snugga. Okay, are we good? I think so. And there's the bumpers. My print. I didn't take the bumpers on this one. Um, we might not want to on the no? tops yet which is another part that I forgot to print, but I'll print those Can we, um, after stream. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You could potentially yeah, lose let's them. Yeah, let's leave them on, on, on the top. Okay. Um, there you go. And here, too. Yep. That's a good call. There are printed bumpers that I apparently forgot as well. Oh, man. There's always something I forget. They're, 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 it's they're just... That's, yeah, that's you, the you way. Busy. That's the way. All right, this I'm gonna put way. this. I'm gonna put this. Uh, yeah, that can go back. Z motor back on. Mm -hmm. With the connector pointing to the middle. Yep, already on that. Yep. I'm gonna go get those printed parts because they're done. Okay. And I will be right back. Your parts are done. Um, Jan Tech just joined, so I probably missed it. But what's your recommendation for lubricating the linear rails? I use just the EP2 grease. Um, I tend to wipe off the rails, take the carriage off, and then put some grease into the bearing. You're, um, you're, you're a brave soul. I know, um, always but there are other people who use methods like injecting, um, injecting the grease either through one of the mounting holes and just yeah. making it squish out through the sides. Or if you have a, 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 a syringe type injector, you might be able to get some into this in through the little gap there on the sides of it. 
Now, if they have a grease port, absolutely. If you've got the, the ability to use a grease port, but not all of these do. <laughs> and I don't have a injector that would work well for the grease port. It doesn't have like a, this, like the bigger ones have Zerks on them. Right. But they don't have like a micro Zerk standard. I think with these I've got... though, I've always done the, like just go through the mount hole. Okay, I'll be right back. That's all. Just stop being able to just walk away. Walk away. So I guess it's just we're resting on our motors. I'm really happy with this. This is uh This is gonna be good. This gonna be good. These skirts are beautiful too. Can't wait to see this. Mm-mm-mm. Color change. Yeehaw. All right, so it's showing the DIN rails. I guess we'll flip it over. I uh, got time to, you got them? Hot off the printer? Hot off the printer, they are actually warm. Still warm. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that feels nice. Okay, so for this, I imagine we just need some of the button heads. Down. Yep. So what we want to do is take, let's Not take the twisted. let's take the pad off the off the table because we want to use this as a reference surface at this point now. Yes. So there shouldn't be anything that sticks out behind on these. Um, so it's going to be a good enough reference surface here to make sure that this is um, along the same plane as the sides of the frame. Okay. So. All right, and I can see here we've got our little jog out mm -hmm. to accommodate the belts. So that's like your opposite. From I think I went the wrong way. Yep. You're right. Yep, just like that. Here and here. Yep. Okay, so we'll line yep. up our exactly holes. Like that. See you, Nelson. Very clever. After I bought had a grease port that fit a 14 gauge needle perfectly. Wish all rails had that. Yeah. There we go. Start. That's lined up, and and then it'll all be the ten millimeter M5s. Mm -hmm. Now, if you the design of these parts, that hole yep. is oblong. It's a slot, yep. which allows for, for some adjustment forward and back. And then the other adjustment is up and down, and everything else is built into just the um, extrusion slots. Perfect. Clever design. Clever girl. All right, this is gonna be the last thing we do today. You think? Um. Or what else do we have? We it can probably din rail. It says we can do din rail. No, that's that's that part. We're not. At we're not. That gonna, yet. We're not gonna do that yet. But we can probably get. Um, Let's see, we can probably get the carriages that will hold these in place okay. and then they won't fall off. They can't fall off. Okay. So yeah. let me gather those parts. These, these pieces. Oh yeah. This one, you'll get another opportunity to use the heat set. Ah, light. It's more of those sweet, sweet CNC kitchen threaded inserts in mm -hmm. there. You got, you need to come over to the side to get a better angle on that? Probably. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, I feel weird over here. On the... I feel weird. I know. I can't, I can't go left. I can't go left. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I'll put the threaded inserts in this. You yep. start. So what I'm going to do up. here, these are little accent pieces. Mm -hmm. um, they, uh, nope, that's for the feet. They're, oh, no. Another thing you forgot? How am I? How am I so horrible? I'm making a list. I don't know. Don't know how. So there's a little accent piece that goes on the bottom here. And then we don't have it. No, no, no. Okay, you better make a list. Okay. So these, I need, I need threaded insert here, here. Yeah. Yeah. 
Do we want to? Do we want to get a little a little view? Sure. Set my depth right there. We're already to temp. There. I get two of my. I'm getting. I'm. I think I'm giving myself like a C minus or a D plus on the parts today. I mean, it sure seems like you have a lot of them, but I know even more there's to be always had. something I'm missing. I got all these. Chico, Chico. Did he pee somewhere? He was found. See, he's going. <laughs> That seems to work well. Yeah, it was, it's, it's great. You just gotta be patient with it. Mm -hmm. Watch it creep its way in there. So how are those fancy CNC kitchen heat sets compared to the normal LDO heat sets? I mean, visibly they, they look the same. I do know that Stefan is uh particular about their their quality their standard by which uh they're they're checked in terms so, of making sure that the threads are cut well and everything yeah if considering probably additional quality control the difference is going to be you would probably see fewer that might have problems like occasionally you'll run into a, a generic heat set insert that isn't threaded right. That would be my hope. I, I, I have to say I haven't used right. enough of either to, I think, to notice a problem yet. I think the idea behind trying to select a better manufacturer for them is to reduce that. Correct. But you're never going to eliminate it. No. You're always going to run into a heat set and, that's and, not and perfect. A, a lot of these suppliers just take the approach of, we'll just throw in a percentage right. extra because right. sometimes they get borked and then you're yep. just like, eh, whatever. Throw it oh, hey, Ryler is here. So Ryler is my nephew. Oh, so, hi, nephew Ryler. Hey, Ryler. Okay, so that's, that's that. So Ryler just graduated high school. Hey, congrats. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Can we get a what's congratulations for everyone for Ryler? For Ryler? He is going to be going to the um, community college up there. Huh. Where's up there? Red Bluff. Red Bluff. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing we need some So what I've done is that. I've kind of shifted gears on us. Okay. Um, since I didn't print these parts. What are these? Parts? We're going to put the feet on. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so the thing will have a stable base to stand on. Okay, so these, we need these. Now. Yeah, but I wouldn't worry about it yet. Not yet. Okay. Those are easier to just kind of hold in place. See if it sits in there as a press fit, though. I mean, I'm sure it, I'm sure it does. Does it? Or does it just fall out? Let's find out. Uh, I think it's just gonna fall out, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's fine. They're yeah. easy so to this put is in. The idea though being for adjustable feet. Is like this will thread in like the yeah. foot itself. Yeah. I like it. Okay, so but anyway, we can just at least put the, the base mounts on. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Then it's not sitting on its motors. Yeah. Motorhead. And, I, and I, I'm I'm continuing my my failure. And what do you why, why, now? Why is that upside what down? Are you, what are you planning to do here? Um, that's a good question. Let's see if you figure out what's going on. Okay. Let's see if you figure so, out. I plan to say, okay, so I guess the orientation yeah. of yeah. this there is going to matter. <laughs> yeah, that one because of on the, the way the the skirt. Yep. Which would explain too why that didn't seem like it was lining up right. So, yep. Good. Um, and this is, these are M3. So that's interesting. You've got an indicator here. These are M3, yep. these are M5, these are M5, and this whole one lined up anyway, so. Yep. Um, sanity check. I'm seeing lots of sanity checks that I need to do on myself because I did another print boo-boo. <laughs> I forgot, <laughs> forgot a part, or what's the boo-boo? I printed the wrong color. So these are the accent pieces. Um, oh, let's go back here. So these are the accent pieces for the feet and I printed the same color. Uh, That's okay. I, those can be added afterwards. We can still put the feet on. Okay, feetsies. <laughs> um, so what's the size of the socket cap we need for the M3? With what depth? Is it the... Um, is it the those are the M3 bumper? by eight. Yep. No, they're no, eight, eight by, by eight. eight. Okay, so eight is over here, yep. and then an M five by ten for the 
for the other. Okay. I'm gonna turn off the... Yeah. So Dave, that is the Naomi Wu um, heat set insert press. There's it's a, super fancy. There's a linky yeah, in, there, in the description. Did I put a link in the description? I thought you did. Remember you were trying to copy paste it and it wasn't copying? Oh, well. I put it into the chat. Oh, you put it in the chat, okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought you might have, that's fine. If you search for Naomi Wu heat set press, it'll come up in a search. Yeah, what is, what's her store called? It's Cyber Night Market or something like that? Um, yes, Cyber Night Oh, there is a pass-through hole, see? Yep. Okay, there we go. Thanks, Danny. Bye, yeah, I, sorry, I forgot to change the cam. I'm gonna move that cam out of the way, oh, yeah. please. These things, right? Oh, that's a bad noise. Oh. Don't like that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Would you like the um, non-ball end? For help? Uh, I think this is fine. We got it. Okay. We have the technology. All right. Awesome. Do this guy. Now, let's see, the skirt. Or so I Dave, that was a different heat set press. So I checked out the Atom, the Vector 3D um, heat set press where um, you Pooch printed. brought the Naomi Wu one to check out today. Yeah, you printed, uh, cause Ad Adam does his as a kit, right? Yep, yep. And so you printed the parts. Yep. And it looked like a funny face when you laid it out in your slides. Yes, yes, yeah. that, was, that was hilarious. It was. Like a little like, crazy gingerbread man. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, let's be honest. It's a it's a fancy thing to have. Like, you, you probably don't even need a press necessarily. If you were doing this all day every day, like for, you know, for work or whatever, and, or you're just particular about making sure everything's squared up. Um, but you can just do it with a regular soldering iron and freehand it. That's what I've been doing for 20 builds. And, you know, <laughs> this size, I mean, I guess the risk is what? The smaller the threaded insert, if you're canted a little bit, the more likely you are to cross thread. Oh, yeah. So Th Things go together much easier when the heat set inserts are inserted straight. When everything is square. If you can, if you can do that by hand consistently, then you're fine. Yeah. But I, I will say that I used a heat set press for kind of pre-inserting a bunch of these, and it was nice. It was quicker than me doing it by hand. Yeah. Well, just having like a consistent work surface, and this one's got a fixed string plate. I don't know. I didn't see how Adams was set. I think it was just, just a the table. desktop, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. And the main the main differences we saw was his defaults to kind of an up state, whereas this one defaults to a you know a specific depth state. So. The idea being that you can get consistent quality of depth right. set. Yep. Or consistent distance of depth or whatever. whatever. Consistent depth. Let's just say that. What's going on here? What do you Something's got? Something's not quite out of the way. Fine. Uh. Yep. Let's give... Is Sean, is Sean still around? Sean's wife's still around? We got some Charlie cam going. So kind of, sort of, once he settles. <laughs> Settle, Charlie. What's going on here? Come on. Not not going in? Grabbing, but I swear I was lined up. No, 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 something ain't right. Can you use the driver to make sure it's lined up? I mean, I... It's pretty spot on to me. Am I using the wrong size screw? Maybe there could be a it's just like something wrong with the screw. Try a different screw. No, it goes right in. Yeah, there's something not. Maybe it's maybe that actual. Oh oh, wait a minute. Did I orient this wrong? Because no, you're are... correct. You're correct. Or is that an M3? Or maybe there's something. Hey, let's pull this the, off. I'll cut it. Something you want the other, the other driver for this one? Charlie, lower back cam. Yep. <laughs> so what is going on? Oh, you're oh. way off. 
No, 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 look at this. Huh. This is this is the wrong... That's an M3. And this is... Yeah, that's this should be an M5. M5, right? Yep. Okay, so we just put the wrong... Just put the wrong Let's one see if we can there. roll there's that out. Little, there's a little flathead screwdriver that might help. It's weird, because the... Let's see, I've got a technique. Let's see if I can go for it. Utilize it. And no, I roll back in needed. Try it the other direction. It seemed like it wanted to come out the bottom more easily. Come on, baby. Don't make us take you off. We can always just put it there. Just move it over. <laughs> yeah, sacrificial. Yeah. And then roll in a five. But we'll know. Just do that. Roll a five in. <laughs> Hopefully we don't run out of M3. You know, it's... Come on, get in this there. This might work better. Just kind of cry it into there. Ah. Snap! Tight! There it is. Tight, tight. They are tight. It did go, though. Wait like a twigger. There was a little better view of more of Charlie. <laughs> Much better thing to look at. Look at that. There we go. Okay, two you feet. You try to put an M5 in an M3. That's what happens. You're going to have a bad time. Going to have a bad time. M5 by 16s. Okay, you do that one. Do this one? Yeah. Okay. I think you've got mine. Do it? No. Oh, no, I had it backwards. <laughs> no matter how much space i have like four times the amount of space here than my normal spot yeah and we expand never, that's, that's, expand to fill it that's right your stuff is like a gas that expands to fill the space it has maybe you should put charlie's pillow in that bed he has a heated pad in there so he was he spent a good amount of time sleeping in there earlier living that cat life in that cat life. Hmm. All right, my friend. We are getting there. Let me put that. So not. What? Just by finger is usually good enough for this. Yep, little nutsy, nutsy putsy. Do you have nuts? Nope. Well, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Do you want out, Charlie? In again, out again, in again, out again. Uh -huh. What was the name of the heat press you built? That was the VLMP. What's the length on the M5? 16. Oh, God. Hmm, what else? I don't think he likes that bed. He doesn't like this spot as well as he likes his normal spot. So colder out here it is it is that's cat that, that ac works well though doesn't it, it does it works isn't really it awesome well. yeah that's a new install yeah yeah i had the sub panel put in uh-huh and then i had the mini splits installed nice, nice.
Okay. Feet are on. Feet are on. It can sit on itself. Let's go here. The Trident stands alone. He's kind of getting that camera angle there at the yeah. thing from here. Yeah. yeah. That Looking looks good. good. What time is it? We are at four hours. Yep. That is just about perfect. So what do we got next? Next, we're going to put our Z. Did you say we, you on. have a list of parts that we need to get run that, that we're missing? Still? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've got a okay. I've got a mental list. OK, good. I'll go through. OK. Uh, I mean, I, I used my mental list before, so. The mental list. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, we are good. So it's part one. Part in, one is in the in can. The books. We're in the okay. We're in the books. And what what did we figure out? How, what percentage are we done with this? So what the next steps are going to be putting the Z carriages on. Yep. And then getting our X gantry together okay. and belting it. All right. So I think in another four hours we could probably be at the point where we are starting to um, put electronics in. Nice. Especially with both of us doing it, each of us doing an XY joint. Yep. And get some belts ran. Yeah. Because this, these are going to be just a few moments to get installed. Yeah. The the X setup is going to take a little bit, and getting our um, the stealth burner installed, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. So we might get to a point where we're finished with the mechanical build tomorrow, yep. and then go on to electronics in another stream. That's a good goal. So. Awesome um yeah all right so everybody huge thank you for everybody that's here um thanks for all the gifted memberships thanks for anybody who became a member um and for huge thanks to ldo fabrico fetus cnc kitchen yeah and um, yeah, all the sponsors for this things. yeah we'll pick right back up where yeah. we left off tomorrow so we are going to be back here tomorrow 10 o'clock. So this this stream, this build series is going to be a little different schedule. So that's why we did today. And we will be right back at 10 o'clock, my time, uh, Pacific time tomorrow. Same same normal stream time. So. All right, everybody have a good awesome. one. Thanks, everyone. Good hanging with you. See you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. And I have always have to. Well, this is nice because I guess we can just leave. Yep, we don't need leave to it all here. anything, right? It's perfect. Nice. <laughs> hmm. Thank you.